My problem is, why are you such a moron? A man like you, that I hold in high esteem in this kingdom, how could you descend so low to cancel this deal that is supposed to give you more millions that you should be spending in this kingdom just because of a woman? Just stop, 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 please, stop, stop this, okay? Stop, because I, I, I don't just know what you're talking about. Huh? Why are you lying? Let's talk about, okay. You want the truth? I want to know everything. Fine. Fine. The reason I backed out of the deal was not because of a woman. But what? I never dealt with any woman, let alone Prince uh, uh, Kessler's wife. So who? The mafia of Abomeme came after me. What? They asked me to back down because they have an interest in the company. So I did. Huh? Ije, let me ask you. If it were to be you, will you be arguing with the mafia of Abomeme? Let me understand this. By mafia of Abomeme, are you telling me in any way that the dreaded Sir Black is connected with this? Thing? If Naya, I think the best thing for you to do is call him. Call him. I've called him several times, and he's not picking. You know, I've known you for quite some time now, and I can tell one or two things about you. Same goes to Kingsley. Okay. I know you still love him, but I can equally tell you that he is married now. He's moved on. I think you should do the same. So he has really moved on. Does he really love her? For what does it matter for crying out loud? They're living together and that's all that counts. They're together. Oh, well, let me not keep you late for work. Let me leave you to go. Okay, that's fine. Right. I'll do this for the very first and last time. This is the cold kingdom where money is the lot of all. This is the cold If I had known this would take this time, I wouldn't have gotten deeply involved like this. What's your point, collect? My point is that you should give me time. Do not be in a hurry. So how much time are we talking about here? As much time as needed. So long as the set goal is eventually achieved. The love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. I am doing this because I freaking love you. So why ask me if I still love you? Hello. I'll have to go now. My lunch <clears throat> break is over. <sighs> Talk to you later. I see. Your lunch break is over. So where does that leave me? With you, my lunch just started. You know what? You are sweeter than the sweetest. You are hotter than the hottest. <laughs> Have I ever told you that before? You're just telling me that now. Mm. But I had always seen it in your eyes. I know what you want. Mm. And I'm going to give it to you. The question is, where do you want it? The guest room? Your bedroom? 
or mine. We'll find out. Just come out. <laughs> Miss has been blowing up my phones with phone calls. Oh, I see. Kinsley sent me text messages too. Is he coming to arrest you for taking care of me? <laughs> I'll be damned. Bye. Oh my god. I think there's an emergency at the office. I'll have to go now. Uh, please do, please. Please go and handle it. I hate emergencies. It's okay. Please. Okay, all right, baby. <laughs> go, 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 go! Okay. <laughs> Andrew. Your Highness. Do you need anyone to tell you that I facilitated your employment? in that cooperation? Your Highness, I'm very much aware of what you did for me, and I promise to pay you back at the right time. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be in a hurry. I was the one that called this meeting. Do you know that I can actually throw you out of that cooperation at the slightest provocation? Your Highness, has he got into them? I am still the lawyer servant of the royal home. I don't know what I have done to warrant the trick of the internet. You have not done anything yet, Andrew. But you never can tell when you will start deviating and then trigger the wrath of the other. The princess, the only princess of this kingdom. I just want to. Keep the record straight. I'm listening. Good. Andrew, you are answerable to me and me alone. I expect you to give me every update about that cooperation. If I get to hear anything or get any information from anyone else first, then you will know why the elders of this kingdom practically avoid me. Are we clear on this? Very clear, Your Highness. Good. But there's something I would like to add. You see, we are up against a mafia network. A mafia network that wants us to go under. Every day they are planning on how to penetrate into our corporation. And first I was going to a station, and I'm sure the royal family will not want that. What point exactly are you making? You see, Your Highness, I am saying, as the other of the royal home, and the only princess that has her the whole time in the world, would it not be better for you to invest most of this your time in finding way we can be on the offensive side rather than the defensive side that like like we have been all these years? Well, Andrew, I know the mafia of Abomimi them too well, and they know that I am not a pushover. Do all the things I have told you to do and the ways I've told you to do them and leave some black and co for me to handle. We have to, Your Majesty. Your letter from the Central College. It came this morning. Thank you. You're welcome. You may leave. Andrew, I am done with you. Remember to feed me back with every update. Whenever you have any information, my phone lines are always open. Very well, Your Highness. Um, I beg to take my leave. Okay, I'll give you the details later. All right. Yes, sir. I'll just take a look, please. 
Nessa, please, what's your job designation in this office? A secretary or a messenger? I get confused sometimes too. Don't do this again. Yes, thank goodness you are here. Felix, I'm about going out for lunch now. I see, Casey. These boys are the mind right now as we speak. Disrupt the work. We need to fix this before that gets back from India. He will not be happy to see things this way. Have some of the answer yet? No luck with that yet. I think we'll have to proceed without him. Let's just hope Andrew is around. Are we having a board meeting? Yes, we are. It is that serious. <laughs> yes, sir. Quickly, all board members, we are having an emergency meeting by 4 p.m. I haven't been there, but it seems serious. They've stopped the workers at the coal mine. So what should I do? I need you to handle this situation immediately. What do you mean, handle the situation? Oh, where are you now? The information available to us is that they stomped the factory barricaded entrance. If I may ask, what is happening to their wounds? Nothing yet. Uh, I gathered from an unconfirmed source that they are demanding compensation. Yes for the environmental damages caused by the activities of the industry. Environmental my foods! For God's sake, isn't that what they demanded like all this ago? Who is even giving those illiterate clues as to make such demands? Who is doing that? They are not completely unaffordable. They drafted that later, remember? Since the demand to meet with the management, I think they are open for dialogue. Who is even ready to dialogue with them? We owe them nothing. The community gets annual revenue from the industry. So what do they want? Let us give them a listening ear. There's no harm in that. Exactly. <laughs> Gentlemen, as it stands now, work has automatically been stopped at the mine. And we cannot allow that to continue for more than a day. Fine. We have to schedule a meeting with them tomorrow, but only on one condition that they will allow the workers to get back to the mine immediately. And Andrew, so, I hope you can handle that. Very well then. Then Nessa, make sure the memo gets to everybody before end of work today. I shall will, sir. So it has, where is Colette? It's, has anyone yeah. seen or heard from her all the while? So why did you drive down to this place? I can't believe you're not worried. You know how these locals behave. They are persistent and will not stop until they get what they want. Base has happened before, call it. And the company hand over it. You... You sound like you already know what they are demanding from the coal mine. I already don't know, Colette. But I believe it is nothing that they cannot afford. What if they succeed in getting that? Sir Black, your own interest might be drastically affected. Kingsley called me. He said they had a meeting on how to handle that. I believe they'll be able to figure out something. No. You have to be on top of your game. This is my only chance. Remember, I have little input in that industry. So I have to win their hearts. You will have to make it happen. 
Of course, that must not know about this. How do we pull through this without involving that? Wait, what are you suggesting? That we call him on the phone and start crying about this? You and I know that has a way of finding these things out. If we don't tell him, it will be terrible for him to learn from another source. Fine. Guys, relax. I'll think of a way to talk to him about it. Meanwhile, let's have a meeting with those fools tomorrow. Kingsley, you haven't heard from your wife yet. She said she was caught up in an emergency. Huh? An emergency? As in a um, health condition? Is she okay? Samuel, her husband is not panicking, should you? She's fine. I want to believe so. Brothers, I have to be back to my office now. I have a lot of fires to attend. Um, <clears throat> I'll just do the same. I'll see you guys later. I heard about it. But I didn't take it as anything serious. The chair didn't hear anything. The king called me and asked him about the problems. I didn't mind. He called you. Hmm. Ichie, what else am I talking about? No. Ichie, just and I want to understand something. You mean the king called you all the way from India? Uh, he called me using his Nigerian line. He's either in the country or he's roaming. What baffles me is how he got to know about the problem at the mine. Maybe because of who he is, the almighty king of the cool kingdom. Well, from the little inquiries I made, those boys are ready to do anything to get what they want. And let me tell you, it is not good for the king, and it is not good for us either. Yes. He here just gonna lose no sleep over that. Hmm. I will handle it. If you say so. Trust me. If you say so. I suppose I had all the important things to do. I thought as much. But you know, I was wondering what is much more important to you than your source of livelihood. The family business. Do you think I do not care? What else am I supposed to think? You were called and informed. The least you could have done was to attend the meeting. But you did not. And for that, you think I do not care about the family business? How else are you supposed to show that you care? It's just yourself, Cassandra and myself in our department. Cassandra is not here. And you won't attend meetings. Try not to miss the meeting for tomorrow. Yes, boss. If a dika collet a biana lum, if a yili collet a biana munso, collet in a talo. Yes, Dad. How are you doing? I hope you are fine now. You are very strong. I'm fully recuperated, son. Okay. We arrived Lagos today. You are in Lagos? Oh, Dad, we, we, we can't wait to have you back. Dad, when are you coming back? What is happening at the mine? Is everything okay? Are you there, son? Yes, I'm here, Dad. I'm here. Dad, everything is fine. Nothing is happening at the mine. So, how, how is Cassandra? Who? Hello? Dad, are you there? Hello? Hello? I'm sure you heard me. No. Some moments ago, Mercy spoke to me in a very disrespectful way. Just because I didn't attend the board meeting. I called you. I asked you to make sure you attended that meeting. And what did I tell you? I told you I was caught up in an emergency. Why 
don't any of you understand that? An emergency you never bothered or cared to talk about? What kind of emergency was that anyway? Health emergency? What is this agitation about? That I did not attend the meeting or about the demands of the locals? Come in. Um, kiss me. The elders are here. Can you come downstairs, please? Yeah, I'll be with you soon. Okay. Why is everybody making this about? Why? Why? Why is everyone making it about me? You're cold. With all due respect, elders. I don't think there is need for this meeting. The first son of the king says there is no need for a meeting with the king's council. Did I hear you? Um, don't get me wrong, elders. I'm trying to say that this has nothing to do with the affairs of the king. Exactly. I wonder how they even got to hear about it in the first place. We just hear about everything that concerns the kingdom. And the coal mine is not an exception. Point of correction, Ichi. Point of correction. The coal mine belongs to the royal family and not the town. And who owns the, the royal family? What is he talking about? Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you, did you hear him? Keep it down. Okay. Okay. Um, elders, please. We all know how these things work. Yes. The people whom you represent, they have a share in the mine. We are not debating that. But they don't run the place with us. They don't run the place with the royal family. Sorry, Felix. What's exactly your argument? My point is that you shouldn't have bothered coming here. Hmm. We've been handling issues like this. We are capable of handling the issue. So I, I, I don't see any need having you here. Listen, there is something I need to clarify so that you guys will not just misunderstand us. We have not come to take over the management of the mind from the royal family. No. But the king is not in the country as we speak. And this kind of issue rises up in the kingdom. Oh. We came here to find out how you are handling it. Because this issue involves the youth of this kingdom. And whatever that involves the youth is not a minor issue. Ichi Otao Kolisi, the king, our father, believes in us very, very much. That is why he has handed everything over to us. As you can see, we've not been sleeping. As a matter of fact, we've scheduled the meeting with them tomorrow. What will you do? Agree to their demands or? Oh, well, these boys, we've not even had a meeting with them yet, right? We don't even know how much they are even demanding. Uh, listen, there is something that we need to, we need to strengthen this argument. So we, we don't just beat up the bush. In a meeting, you want to hold with them. I want us to understand something. That we don't want this kingdom to go up in flames. Mm -hmm. We want to maintain the peace. So if what they are demanding is not outrageous, yes. we are suggesting as many council that you consider paying it to them. Yes. These are the youths of this kingdom. And I believe you don't want to go into war with the local boys. Um, Ichi. Nobody is planning to go into any war with anybody. No. We will do everything we can to avoid that. Thank you for coming. We appreciate your coming here. But we will take it over from here. Thanks for your concern. And we are hoping you give us feedback after the meeting with them tomorrow. I am very sure you will not be disappointed. Thank you very much. I do not understand how anybody could have gone to them with that information. Honestly, those guys created a very big scene at the mine. I am not surprised they use this everywhere. They're not. No wonder Dad got to hear the news. What? Dad already heard about it? Oh, God. I spoke to him before coming here, and he implied he knows something is wrong. What did he say? Nothing exactly. He noticed I was not ready to talk about it, so he ended the call before I was able to manufacture a lie. 
You mean he, he didn't as little as mention how he got the information? Come on, Kesley. Should we be talking about this now? Come on. We'll see how this thing goes. I hope we're able to have this meeting and come up with a resolution before he comes back. In the cold kingdom, cool has become everything. Money is everywhere. Foko has become money. Honey, well, you know, I do think it's out of place for them to have come. The action made it look like my brothers and I are incapable of handling issues. Why that is a way? It is insulting. They are only concerned. Don't forget they also have a share in the business. And whatever affects the business affects them as well. Well, I guess so. I'm more worried about Colette's attitude to work. What is that to to work? Are you even asking me that? See, Messi, if you're having any problem in your department, please fix it. Don't drag me into it. That's only if you're no longer the managing director of the company. Well, I've not seen anything wrong. Once I see that something is wrong, I will come in and fix it right now. I've not seen anything. I have an early start tomorrow. Good night. Good night. You don't know, I have a very much interest in the combat, do you? <laughs> Is that a yes or no? Am I here because of Royal Cold Mine? You should have known, considering your recent activities in the mine. <laughs> Black, I will tell you stay out of this, please. We are making a very legitimate demand. Legitimate, you say? And you keep repeating and renewing this demand every two years. Am I correct? They are making a lot of money with the backing of the corrupt men in government. So they need to be topping up what we gain. As the local people that suffer the damage caused by, by, by their oppressions in our environment. Well said, but your timing is wrong. I, I, I don't understand what you mean by that. No, get it straight. I have a very tightly vested interest in that industry. <laughs> And your demands will not let me get what I want. We cannot be making the same demand from the same source. Exactly the point. So I ask you, are you ready to make compromise? And why should I be the one to make the compromise? Two reasons readily come to mind. One, we have been gaining from that company. Two, and most certainly, you will not want to contend with the Mafia of Abomini. So I ask you, what is it for you? Are you game? Or you need time to think about it? Yeah. 
Can I take a ride with you to work today? I don't feel like driving. I think you should ride with someone else. But there's no one else around. They all go. Then get a cab. What? A cab? Mm -hmm. What? Why can't I ride with you? Are we not going to the same establishment? Because I am not going to the office yet. I have too many places to go to in this whole kingdom. You should know that. Mm. I see. Don't forget we have a meeting with the local boys this morning. I will remember. Call it. <sighs> the meeting with the boys is very important. If you miss it, then you will have to answer a query from the department. <laughs> Any news from those folks? None yet, sir. But the notice of the meeting was given to their leader yesterday. All right. Uh, do you want me to write the agenda, sir? Please do. And let me know what you come up with 30 minutes before the meeting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You put so much trust in Mesa. She gave me reasons to. You can agree with me that she is very good. I just finished a meeting with my department and Colette was not there. She left the palace early this morning before me to work, saying specifically that there are a lot of places in this cold kingdom where she goes. I haven't spoken to her since I woke up this morning. If she fails to attend the meeting which we have rescheduled again for today, nobody should blame me for whatever actions I will take. What's it in her? Are you telling her of anything? Feel free to find out, my brother. <laughs> did father tell me when he's back from Vegas? I did not get the chance to get that information. I tried calling Cassandra and the phone was switched off. Okay. Andrew, how do you reconcile what is happening now with what we discussed the last time I invited you here? The volatile youths of this kingdom are making demands on the royal family and you did not deem it fit to tell me. Your Highness, if I should bother you over such a small matter, that means I'm not competent to be called the senior officer of the corporation. You know, I am trying so hard to understand you right now. You mean to tell me that you don't consider that information good enough for me? Not exactly, Your Highness. Let me rephrase. They are not qualified to get you agitated. These are local boys trying every means to obtain us by trick. And I did not get you involved because we are already handling the matter. Just shut up. Shut up, Andrew. Is it not clear that I was wrong all this while? Huh? Do you know who they call Iwe Dilobi? Is it because he is not blessed with a huge body that you're undermining him? The mere fact that he is part of this request should get everybody agitated. 
Why, why are you calling them local boys? Why are you undermining them when you know that even the police are scared of them? Sincerely, Your Highness, I don't think uh, those boys should get you loosely for one second. They are local boys and that is our freedom. Do you know who informed me? My brother. The king himself. If in his wisdom he called them volatile youths of this kingdom, you should be careful. Let me educate you. Volatile in this context means unstoppable, unpredictable. What is your problem? You think you can stand here and just dismiss them as mere local boys? Someone is surely provoking Aunt Yolendo. What is wrong? What? Are you okay? What is your problem? Why do you call me Auntie Oledo? Have you joined forces with your younger brother Kingsley? Why are you calling me Auntie Oledo? I need to be guided, Andrew. Have I said anything wrong? I mean, is she no longer the Auntie Oledo of the coal kingdom? Just shut up! Shut up! If you parade yourself as Prince somewhere of the coal kingdom, Common sense should have told you that I am the attack. The only princess Oledo of the same kingdom. Don't you ever insult me with that title again, Auntie. It is for the classless and the uninformed. Well, I'm hearing that for the very first time. I'm sorry if that is the case. Well, I just got in here to pick something and I should be back to the office immediately. Um, <clears throat> Andrew, if you don't mind, I'll give you a ride. Hey, 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 come! Ah! Are you okay? You met me here talking to this employee of mine without asking me if I was done with him. You're offering him a ride. What is your problem, Samuel? So what? What do you understand? I know you are capable of anything you put your mind at. Just go. Black, I've got work to do, remember? Besides, I am not in the mood of what is running through your mind right now. And you don't have a wink of what is going through my mind right now. Just go. Ah, oh, Black. Please, I need a feedback. Did you have a meeting with the locals? My baby Colette, I really don't know why you so much bother yourself. This is sad luck. And you know that my word is my bond. But I told you, I would. But for now, just come. Come with me. Just come. Go walk to do yeah. yeah I need to sort this out, please. Yeah. Welcome back, your majesty. Yes. John, how are you? I find your majesty. Good. <sighs> Welcome, madam. How have you been, John? I've been doing great, madam. I can see Indian is very good. Yes, he's strong now. Please, get the luggage. Okay. I thought you were an early riser. Hello. 
a little introduction. My name is Colette, Princess Colette, as a matter of fact. I am the light that shines bright, not only in the palace, but in the whole of the cold kingdom. As if the traditional marriage wasn't enough, she was able to get him to have a court wedding with her. He wasn't forced. Can I see the photos at least? Why? Why do you want to see the photos? Just show me. Let me see the woman he chose over me. Oh, come on, darling. Seeing those photos won't do you any good. Don't be too sure. We are not of the same caliber. Always remember that. Can I see them? Well, well, well. If you insist. I'll show you. Yes. Yeah. He looks happy. I'm sure he does. But most men look happy after they tie the knot. But don't be deceived. It could be just an outward expression. He may not be that happy internally. You may be right. But I'll give it to her. She looks beautiful. Of course she is. Sure. I won't agree any less. How can I forget the face? I guess I'm popular. Being married to one of the royal sons of the kingdom, why won't you be? I hear you have a good position in the coal mine, which makes me wonder what you're doing here at this time of the morning. <laughs> Let's say I have an important business here too. Oh, made in a bad shoe. By the best hands. You know, it's time for us to promote our own products. It will really suit a princess like you. And it's very affordable. Everything here is actually very affordable. But my husband is not affordable, right? <sighs> too busy for that. Excuse me, mother. I am too busy to bother myself about what little husband like you do, especially when it has to do with my husband. Your husband? Because he took you to the courts and sleeps with you every other night? What do you know about him? What? I know he kicked your ass out of his life. How does that work, knowing something about him? I've got work to do. And this work does not revolve around you. Move on already, bitch! As for the shoes, my maid will come get them. Princesses, do not wear those. If a dika collet a piano loom, if a yili collet a piano moon so, collet in a talo, on a tag on a fugiono. If a dika collet a piano Hello, my darling hubby. Are you okay? Are the locals there already? Of 
course, I'll get myself there. But are the locals there already? The time was specific enough. And now it's 12.15, so what is going on? Meeting started. Yes, ma'am. Who and who are present? Prince Kingsley, <laughs> Prince Felix. And the car? The king just had left me. Um, can I go back to my room? Why hasn't the meeting started yet? Why are they not here? Sandro, my publicity manager. What is going on? Um, Your Highness, we are still waiting for the arrival of the locals. So it is true that some people actually disrupted work at the mine, and none of you ever thought it wise to let me know. Do that. See, that this is not beyond us. There is no way we could have bothered contacting you when you've entrusted so much responsibility on us. We can handle this, Dad. We are capable of handling it. What is their demand this time? Um, Dad, we intend to find out from this meeting. Well, I heard from the grapevine that the workers at the mine have been unable to gain access to the mine yet. Let anyone say something reasonable to me. I've been away for just one month and everything has turned upside down already. Oh. You're not even able to give a straight account of anything. Someone has a straight answer for you. Welcome home, Your Majesty. This is not the way you should be welcome home after your medical trip. I cannot believe that you are just arriving at the office at this time, Colette. Is this one of the many problems we have now? Non-tolerant attitude to work? Your Majesty, 
I do not joke with my job. Anyway, sir. What is this? Nessa. Yes? Would you please read this out to the king and the board members? What are you up to? Nessa? Sir? Are you going to read that? Your Majesty, this is a letter from the so-called local boys that disrupted the activities at the mine. The ones we're supposed to be having this meeting with, I suppose. They were going to make a demand of 15 million naira every month from the royal family and the kingdom's treasury. But well, they had a rethink after they were made to understand the ugly implications of their stupid actions. So in this letter, they officially apologized to his royal majesty. King Ferdinand, the 16th of the Cold Kingdom, and have withdrawn their demand. Your Majesty. Below the bed. Oh, no. I'm sorry, I was in a meeting while you were coming. What? She, how's that? She was at my boutique this morning. She even came with the same letter. I don't know how that happened. I gave Prince the letter yesterday. I just want to make sure you're not in any kind of trouble. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm fine for now. I'm sorry she came by. I don't know how it happened. Hope she didn't create a scene. Um, nothing to worry about, alright? I now know she's a braggart. We'll see you later. You did what? You were the nobody. Don't keep me quiet. I'm talking to you. What did you do? It's a, I did the right thing. There is no justification for the demand. You just shut up and stop provoking me. What do you mean there's no justification? What do you know? You are not the one making this demand. I am the one making the demand. So how could you open your mouth and say there is no justification? On that one information. Okay. They are already giving us something. They have settled the community very well. I know that it's here. Let's just be, 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 be sincere here. Eh? Okay, for years now, it's here. This coal was under our soil doing nothing. We don't even know what to do with it. So if King Ferdinand desisted, Finally, secured government approval to mine and explain us what we are already getting. Fine! We should be able to. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. Don't make me fall out with you. What are you saying? Do you know how many millions of naira they make from that mine on a daily basis? Have you calculated it? You will have no behind you. Uh, Ichi, I am, I am not going to do this anymore. What? Yes. I 
cannot a greedy man. Even my enemies can attest to that. Why do you sound as if you have option? Listen, you will be noble. You have no option in this at all. I paid you for this business. And you must do it exactly how I want you to do it. No, 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 Ichi. What you paid for was for my boys to disrupt work at the mine, which they did. Yes. As a matter of fact, I have written a letter to the king apologizing. What? And I have instructed my boys never to return to the mine or have anything to do with that business again. Yes. You're joking, right? I am not joking, Ichi. If you need anything from the king, then you will do that personally. Stop right there. What is this? No, what are you doing? Walk out on me? You want to walk out on Ishiya Kao Police? Can you do it? No, can you do it? Okay. Ichi, what you mean? Oguego Jolonjo, Oguego Jolonjo, Oguego Jolonjo, Oguego Jolonjo. Oh, my God, I'm going to see you. Love of money is the root of you all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. Wow. I am thrilled beyond exclamation. How, how did you do it? Isn't this the woman of the moment? Yes, she is. <laughs> but both of you should go get a room. This is an office. So we're getting one already. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I've been looking for you everywhere. Where have you been? The MD asked to see me. And who delays the MD's call? Well, MD, <laughs> can I borrow my wife for some time? Your request is hereby granted and approved. <laughs> but call it. Once you are done with this man, you come back here. We are not done. <laughs> I will, sir. You can go. You can go. Daddy has asked to see you. Really? Yes. <laughs> yes, how did it go? Perfect. Everyone is happy. Just like we anticipated. And guess what? You don't have a lot like guesses, baby. Talk to me. The king just returned and was at the meeting when I stumbled in with my little good letter. Mom says how happy you feel. Of course, I'm very happy. Um, you know what? This is an opportunity for us to do what we always wanted to do. Because I have the trust now better than ever. That's true. Why don't we pump this over at my apartment? Call her. Sweetheart! Hello, baby. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Let me go get dressed. Something sexy. Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. He's the master. He's. For how long am I going to continue with this? To I can't count the number of times that low life pig has taken my woman. Boss, she's still yours. You still have her whenever you want her. She goes back to that real pig. Funny enough, the real pig has what you want. Is that enough consolation, boss?
please. You know, it feels good to know that all attention has been diverted to me. I'm not the king anymore. <laughs> um, your majesty, my wonderful brothers, our very beautiful wives, my elders, it is an honor to stand before you to make this toast to the great leader of our time. So if you don't mind, I want us to stand on our feet before I make this toast. Thank you very much. And that man happens to be your father. <laughs> How <laughs> lucky you are. <laughs> <laughs> to the man that commands respect, not only as a king, but through his kindness, and unadulterated magnanimity. Yeah. I'm talking of my father, King Fernand the Sixteenth. We are happy you are back, happier, healthier, and more handsome. Oh, oh. <laughs> kudos to my wife! <laughs> kudos to my wife! Yeah. <laughs> Very important. So this is a toast to your good health, more wisdom, and more prosperity. Uh, wait. Thank you for the toast and all the wishes. Uh, Felix, my son. <laughs> and thank you, my people, also for the wishes. Well, you all know that I went to India, but not for tourism. I was so relieved when I came out of that theater stronger, healthier, uh, and of course, more handsome. And more money too. <laughs> Kudos to <laughs> <the> money. <laughs> more money, that's money. Yes. Hey. Yes. But all that changed when I arrived in Lagos and heard about the problems at the mine. This made me book a flight immediately to the Coal Kingdom. But on arrival, Everything changed again. Thanks to my amiable and elegant daughter-in-law, Colette, <laughs> who was able to solve the problem of the ground, which would have resulted into massive bloodletting and loss of millions by the coal company. When she brought back the letter from the locals, Kudos to you, colleague. Thank you, Your Majesty. So, I make this toast to a very resourceful person, a very resourceful woman who is also elegant and beautiful. Oh, to call it. I was the one who left her family behind and traveled with him to India. Cassandra, we all are grateful for the sacrifice you made. So why is nobody saying anything about me? Why? I never missed visiting my son in school every visiting day. But I did that last month for the king. What do you want, Cassandra? What do you want? A trophy? A trophy for accompanying your own father-in-law to his medical trip? And if I get that, what will happen? What? Will you stop being the king? Cassandra, Cassandra, why can't we just enjoy your return in peace? Why? And what did she even do? 
talk to the local boys as a local woman that she is? Had the meeting with them? What? Call it. What has Colette got to do with this now? Why are you calling her names? Were you there? Were you? Did you see how the welcome party turned into Colette's praise party? Did you? Hi. <sighs> Cassandra, <clears throat> having been a part of this family for a very long time, I'm sure you know what the implications of giving out 15 million naira every month to those local boys would have been. That is apart from a defined percentage that goes into the kingdom treasury every month. Colette saved our asses from that trouble. And if anything would have been, you should be grateful to her because I am grateful to her. Really? Then what happens to the woman that left her family and was stuck in an Indian hospital for over one month? What do you owe her? You know what? If you have a problem with that, for not appreciating you, take it to him yourself. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Call it? Yes. What is her role in this company? Farah, she's in the controls department. Do you what exactly? I mean, what is her position in the controls department? She works under my wife. That's what? <laughs> you have such a resourceful person without a defined role in the company. What have you and the HR manager been doing? Plugging round pegs and square holes? Listen, go get her fixed into something very active immediately. I mean, she can exercise her intelligence. All right, brother. I'll do just that. Uh, okay, I'll get back to me as soon as possible. All right, brother. Excuse me. Good morning, Colette. <clears throat> How was India? I didn't get to have a chat with you yesterday. Not when you were busy saving us from those greedy folks. <laughs> I am glad it's all over. Yeah, yeah, we all are. Hmm. Where is everyone? I guess. Yeah. By the way, Collins, how did you do it? Come on, you're not just going to give me a smile. When you know the right people to talk to, you get the right things done. It's all about being smart and alert. How is that for an answer? Uh, by, by the way, eating breakfast as huge as that is not a good way to start a day. If you want to be smart and alert, <laughs> True, we're working on something, but I think we should come up with something better. God let me listen to me. I don't know how long my patience can go on this. I need you here with me. I know you do, but then we need other plans. The first one is taking forever if you ask me. So, tell me, what is on your mind? 
The king trusts me now more than ever. He's promised to fix me up with something better in the company. I can use that to our advantage if you ask me. Go ahead, talk to me. How can I be of help? I need a close-up on one of the staff. Nessa, the secretary. I think she's working on destroying my marriage with the prince. What are you talking about? Your marriage with the prince? How can it help anything? Oh, come on, Black. No, 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 don't give me that crap. The marriage is the only reason I'm able to be in that family. If the marriage collapses, then the deal is off. <sighs> Come on, baby. Well, I believe Nessa is working with Kinsley's ex. How do you mean? I do not know, but I need to find out ASAP. That I come to the palace all the time is not your problem. Because if I fail to come here as often as I do, fools like you will mislead my brother the king and turn around to accuse him of not being a good king. You know what? I am done with this call. I want to end this call now. You see, I am, I am trying to find a reason for this your useless invasion. My father, Ezomema, was buried in this living room. So it's obvious it is my father's grave. Why are you always disrespecting the princess? The other, the one and only princess, Olegdo with your useless invasion. Just to be sure, I went to my brother Felix, who is the managing director of the corporation, to confirm how much is payable to you every month. And I was stunned to discover that in his magnanimity, as the one in charge, he has increased the money payable to you to three whole million naira every month. Mm -hmm. Do you have a problem with that? Or do you think I am not qualified to earn three million naira every month from the family business? Until later. Excuse me? Sorry. <clears throat> Princess Oledo. Better. What have we done to you? Three whole million naira every month, and you cannot allow us peace in this royal house. Shall we kill ourselves for you? Um, Samuel. Prince Samuel. Always remember that. Prince Samuel. Prince Samuel. Good. Were you sent by someone to come and play this old drama? Or you're doing it all by yourself? Nobody can send me. I am here all by myself. And you know that. And why are you insulting your mother, not me? How dare you question me? You once referred to Andrew as an employee of yours. What exactly do you mean by that? It's obvious I have become the topic for your private discussions. Obviously with your wife. You know what? I don't have time for you now. Excuse me. What are you? Oh. Honey. 
I woke up with a busy mind today. Busy mind? It feels like something special is supposed to happen tomorrow. Of course, every day with you is special. You know that, sweetheart. Yeah, but what's tomorrow's date again? Um, May 20th, right? Yes. Was it not on that day four years ago I met a certain woman who came into my life and turned everything around and brought me so much joy and happiness? Oh and my god! Oh my god! It's all the best for me! Happy anniversary, baby. Happy anniversary to us. And you knew all that. Ah, sorry, I knew. You know, I could never forget that. Because I love you. I love you too, sweetie. So what do you say about lunch with the family tomorrow to celebrate? Is there a problem? The king is talking to you. Sorry? You look unsettled. Does it mean you cannot eat with us if your man isn't here? Of course I can, your majesty. I... I am just worried about the emergency that took him out at this time of the day. I am really worried. Oh. Maybe it's just here on the time to put the worries in <laughs> Was I missed around here? Yes. Thanks to It's been four wonderful years with you. Four years might not be that long, but it's been the best years of my life. And where else is most out of grade to ask this request from you other than before the most important people in my life? I want you to be part of this most important people in my life. So please, if you mind, if you mind. That will mean it's over between us. He is married to another woman. And they are living happily. What part of it is over between you and him? Do you not understand? His mind. We belong to each other. His heart lives here. He lives here. You should have thought of it before playing your silly game. Anita, you know I did not do that. You know that. Whatever. Just move on, girl. Move. Please put that away so I can discuss why I'm here. That works. And we have to do as he has instructed. I'm telling you first because she works under you. I hope that won't be a problem. My darling husband, I do not have a problem with Colin getting a new post. But what position exactly are you planning to give to her? Well, no idea yet. 
I'll make a decision once I have a meeting with the HR manager. But the truth is that the position she is most suitable for right now is the publicity manager. What? But Andrew is already occupying that position. Well, he seems not to be doing very well with it. And you think Colette is better off? Well, with what she recently pulled with the local boys, I think she is perfect for the post. Mm. Do not underestimate the local boys. They are very organized and most times the commissioner of police advises the, uh, his men not to engage them because they are very brutal. For colleague to get them to sign a well-detailed apology letter is what sane people will not forget in a hurry. Come on, you agree with me, my wife. Can we have a smooth conversation without you attempting to make her look so big? <laughs> my sweet wife, I don't think that is possible since it is the main reason she's getting promoted. And let me remind you urgently, to that, she is big. And it is only ideal for what seems big to the king to look bigger to you. Don't you think so? What is this, please? Are you intentionally trying to get people bored? Anyway, my wife, I only thought I should tell you. I have not even communicated that to my brothers yet. Thank you for the unappreciated honor. You are not on. Excuse me. My lovely wife. I understand this is the place the former king was buried. I'm particularly surprised that you always feel free staying here all by yourself without any fear. Cassandra. I will not allow you to lure me into this kind of useless discussion. I called you here for a purpose. Sit. Okay. You sound as if all is not well. Is there a problem? Cassandra, what has your husband told you about me? I'm lost here, auntie. Excuse me? I mean, for real? You parade yourself as royalty because you're married to Samuel. You, you don't know that I am the only princess in this palace? I'm sorry, princess. It's just a, a slip of tongue. Of course you know I have huge respect for you. I sure cannot undermine your position. Your husband is questioning my authority. Are you playing this game with him? Or he's all by himself? <sighs> Would you believe if I told you my husband doesn't discuss anything with me? I'm equally surprised with this information that he questions your authority. Trust me, princess. I will take it up with him. You don't need to. I already have the information I need. I will handle it. What do you want to do? Listen, I told you the last time... I came to congratulate you. You were the Mnobi. Ah. On what? For your stupidity. For your foolishness and for your cowardice. Ah. Okay? I uh, 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 have no regrets. Yes. No, of course. How much did she promise you? How much did she give you that you don't have already? How much? Uh, who? You mean you think I will never find out? No, were you looking at me as an ordinary man of this kingdom that will never find out what happens in the land? Uh, no, were you thinking I will never know that you backed out of our plan because of a woman? Is that what we were thinking? Ha! Because, listen, Che, I am a man of many sides. Of course, I know. But it has never been reported that Iwe Dinobi is a man of women. So I am suggesting that you take your insult back. Then before that insult will kill you, let me tell you already 
that I know the fact that you are a man of many sides. Yes. But we equally know that your popular side is the side of women. Ha! That's why you are, you are a fool. Hey, listen to me. I am only hoping that you invent a way to manage the money you have now for the remaining days of your life. Because as you are standing here now, you are grounded. You parade yourself as the leader of the youth. And you forgot we are the people that made you the leader of the youth. Now you are working with women. Let me tell you something. You are already finished. Because you are no longer the leader of the youth of this kingdom. That position is terminated because of this vision of mine. As for my interest, just understand that with your help or without your help, that I am going to achieve it. Idiot. You would ignore me. I'm not going to go This man is going crazy, yo. He's going crazy. Huh? What, what woman is he talking about? Huh? So, have you been able to get a contract with KPSU Corporation? What are you talking about? Who's a very contract? Look who we have here. The almighty Colet. I hope you do not bring in marital issues to your office. And what exactly do you mean by that? I saw my boss on my way in. She doesn't look happy. Oh, that. You would be surprised as to why she wasn't very, very happy. I can help you fix that if you let me. <laughs> <laughs> Call it. I know you can fix everything. Call me whenever you need me. Call it. What do you want? You know I can hardly stand that look on your face. Tell me, what do you want? Why can't you dig deeper? Why? Stop acting all caged up, Prince Felix. Colette. I'm sure you don't want my brother and I to repeat the Cain and Bell episode, do you? I do not want to repeat of that either. Prince Felix, I know you've got a soft spot on me. I know you want me. Call it. Everybody has a soft spot for you. Even the king. Am I right? Why did you have to bring in the almighty King Ferdinand the 16th into this? Come on, Colette. Isn't that the reason he asked for your promotion? Don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. You are so contagious. Everybody seems to like you. Especially the guys. <laughs> Can you please speak more on the promotion? Well, I'm not discussing that with you yet. And that brings me to the major thing. Why are you here? What silly promotion? What does she know? What is her qualification? She has her way with words. That is her qualification. Mm. Talking of which, you should have heard what she said to me at the dining this morning. You know, I don't know what that girl has done to everybody. Everyone keeps seeing what we call the good side of her. And with the latest string she pulled with the locals, she has become a god. You know, I've given my whole life to this business. And I know I started with most of the dirtiest jobs. 
I stayed in those jobs for years without any promotion. Didn't your promotion start coming when you got married to Prince Samuel? Exactly! I was still the same woman who left her family behind, traveled to India with the king, took care of him for over one month. What promotion did I get? You know, I'm worried about what is going to happen if she's made the publicity manager. Do you know what that means? It means that she is eventually going to become the face of the royal business. I'm about going out. I just thought I should come and tell my boss. I do not want her giving me a query. Did you smell the sarcasm? Did you? The security man told me that a particular fair lady that came on harsh colored Toyota RAV4 was sitting in a car monitoring you boots. I don't know what that means. I made some calls already and I can confirm that this lady is the one he's married to now. Anita, can you do me a favor? Spare me all the unnecessary information. I was with Kingsley, my man, and that is what matters to me. You have lost it. Have you not? It was Providence that brought us together. It's been almost a year. Nobody gave me the opportunity to explain myself. And did you succeed in doing that now? Something is wrong with him. He's not the prince that I used to know. That should be because he is happily married. And he has been married for how long now? Seven months? And here you are, still dreaming of getting him back. How come nobody wants to understand me, including you? Nobody. I even wonder when you will understand that you can get yourself in trouble one of these days. He is a prince. A prince, if Naya. You can just walk up to him and embarrass him. You call it an embarrassment. I call it trying to get my man back. Ifonaya. Pardon? I'm here to see Ifonaya, the owner of the supermarket at uh, 24 Zion Street. Oh, okay. Ifonaya. Yes. I'm a friend. She's not home now. She doesn't even close this thing. Oh. My bad. I don't even know my friend that much again. No, that's fine. That's okay. It's understandable. But you can hang around and wait for her. She should be home soon. Oh, uh, I don't think that'll be necessary. Okay. Maybe I'll just go there and just check up on her. Yeah, that's also fine. Yeah. Yes. So, you live here, right? As you can see, I'm just going inside. Alright. See you around. Okay. Yes, sir. Publicity manager sounds great. Yes, Dad. That seems to be the only position she can handle now, considering the fact she's very intelligent, very brilliant, and she has her way with Welsh. Ah, great. Um, so what do you intend to do with Andrew? Oh, Andrew. Um, we can fix him up. Ah, uh, Felix. 
when I said fix collect in a defined role in a company, I did not say demote or lay off another. With your experience in management, you should know that such an act will affect the efficiency and effectiveness in the organization. I know that I've really thought about that is really a very difficult decision. But the truth is that um, <coughs> we don't have any better position for hiring the corporation right now. Except we create another. Even when we do, it might not be very important. All the positions are occupied and the people there, they are doing very, very well. Felix, you will agree with me that Andrew does not deserve such treatment. Just give me some time, I'll think about it. So. It's okay, Dad. Alright, have a nice day. <laughs> In the cold kingdom, cool has become everything. Money is everywhere, for cool has become money. I'm sorry, Princess Olaito. You are getting me confused here. Was it my father that told you what we discussed? Ever before he married your mother and then became your father, he was originally my brother. Do you expect him to hide things from me? <laughs> well, Princess Olaito, there is nothing to hide. It was the king that suggested the promotion in the first place. And why did you not offer her another post? Instead of that publicity department that Andrew is doing very well in. Princess or lady, can I ask you something? What is your interest? Do I want to know? What is your interest here? Why are you questioning the decisions we make in the corporation? I don't really get it. Prince Felix. The only reason I am tolerating your excesses is because you are the only one who still understands that I am a princess in this palace. Come on, that is not in doubt. It has never been in doubt, you know that. You are the first daughter of the family. Thank you. And this is why we've been paying you the money we pay you every month. But my problem with you is that you are dabbling into the managerial decisions and I'm not really comfortable with that. I am not. I don't want call it in that publicity department. And I need you to pull that stunt for me. Well, I'm glad you know it's a stunt. The king my father has given approval for that promotion. And come on, you know your brother. Once he decides on something, he makes sure it is achieved. Your point exactly? My point is that the king has given approval for the promotion and all plans already set in motion. If you want a stay of execution, please talk to your brother. I cannot put that stunt. My hands are tied here. Excuse me. You did me, Sabla. My friend, in the Mafia world, we have a rule, and that rule is, get the job done, no one bothers how you do it, all you need to do is to get the job done. Yes, yes, yes I know all that, I am talking about your trick. Hey, please don't pretend for I am certain you know what I'm talking about. My friend, don't call it a trick. We made a deal. Who is the woman? Who is the woman that made you step in? It was not about you, right? shoulders speaking to me is just because you respected me 
and we do your demand from the rule your family and in mine. Now get it straight. This deal is over and done with. I shan't have you. Come here. Talk to me the way you are doing. How about I show you the door? Well, uh, the search for for my house next door neighbor. Is that what that ill-behaving wife of your overpampered son has cost? You now, you now talk to me as if I'm nobody. Well, then what is your problem? The fact that I gave her promotion? Or that you have a problem with her as a person. You sound as if you don't trust me anymore. This is not about trust. This is about efficiency and effectiveness. It's about putting round pegs in round holes. And by that you imply that Andrew is not fit for the position he has occupied for so many years? Is that what that poorly raised wife of your sons has told you? Stop it. I'll let us stop this now. Andrew is still part of this organization. He's still relevant. I've already instructed Felix to ensure that he does not undermine his potentials. Oh, come on. This meeting ends now. <laughs> it has already ended. What are you up to now? You now send people to spy on me? You always seem to forget who you are. You are a prince, and everyone knows you. Every eye is on you. And then they get back to you with information about who I talk to, is that it? I am only concerned about the impact those talks will have on our marriage. Especially when one of the persons you spend time talking to is the same woman that almost messed you up. <laughs> it's Onanya. Is this about her? Isn't she the reason why I do not have lunch with my husband? Isn't she the reason you always insist on going by yourself? Just to hang out with your ex. That's if truly she is. To start with, I have never objected to going out for lunch with you. You are the one who always rushes out without me. I don't see any problem in that anyway. As for Ifunaya, I ran into her at the mall and that is it. And you spent almost 30 minutes discussing with her. What was the discussion all about? It was how both of you are unhappy to have thrown your four years together away? Do, do you realize you're being unreasonable and very childish? I do not deserve this. I do not need to shed a tear on her account. This is the same woman that almost messed up your life and I came around to back you up. Come on, buddy. Stop this. What are you doing to yourself? I've told you Ifunaya belongs to the past. I love you. What are you thinking? That I will leave you and go back to Ifunanya after all she's done? <laughs> like, like I stand a chance when both of you have history together. Hard, you mean to say. Hard. 
if Romania belongs to the past and nobody's going back to the past, I love you now. My family loves you. They won't even let me hurt you. See? You see what you did with those local guys? How you saved all of us from trouble. That tells me you have a huge potential in you. You're a great woman. Now I want you to concentrate on exploiting those potentials and maximizing them to make a name for yourself in this family. Other than thinking about issues that aren't even there. Okay? Um. Talking of potential, I hear that um, I might be made the publicity manager. Yes, I heard so. So now that you will get that position, what do you want to do with it? <laughs> I, I knew you would never support that. Andrew has served this company for how many years? Longer than I have. And what stupid self-acclaimed boss woman will just come and snatch it away from him? Well, mm, what position is available for her now? I have no idea. Prince Felix said that the king asked him to give him some time to think about it or something like that. <sighs> this is serious. Thank goodness she didn't see it. mean of this? Baby, it's not what you think. Connie, who is this intruder that is getting you agitated? Where's your honey? Will you shut up and let me explain this to my man? Your man? Oh, you're with me here and you're calling someone else your man? I mean, what kind of game are you playing? Is this a joke or what? Please, please, sweetheart, I gotta explain. Explain what exactly? That you're coming out of a hotel room? With a man who not only holds you tightly but calls you honey? And you want to explain to me? <laughs> it's not what you think. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. It's, it's not what you think. This is the best post for me and I have to get it. I didn't think that anyone would even think about Andrew. What else can I do? Go back to our original plan? Oh no, that will take forever and I do not want to tolerate all these annoying people for that long. I need to be the face of the company. I need to be the publicity manager of the royal business. And where are you going with that? To give the king his evening beside him. You will not be seeing him now. I'm having a meeting with him. But ma, he can't miss this message. He's waiting for me. How about I help you do the job this one time? Go on. Get on with other house chores. Or better still, go have some rests. 
Thank you, Mwa. You're welcome. <laughs> She's waiting for the right time to strike you Below the belt Oh, below the belt Below the belt Your Majesty Oh, call it <laughs> You're supposed to massage your shoulders with this Ah, as a matter of fact I was instructed by the doctor never to miss it. So I heard. I've been waiting for the maid. Please, can you get her for me? She was supposed to have come here before. Your her. Majesty, do not worry. I will do that. Besides, the maid is busy with her domestic work. I doubt if she can do this better than me. <laughs> All right. I'm <laughs> Of course, there is nothing to hide, Your Majesty. Mm. I only waited for you to ask me. I'm all ears. It wasn't much of a big deal because it happens to be that the leader mm. is a brother to a woman I once saved some years back. Really? It was a miracle when I learned of her brother's plan. Mm. I immediately contacted her and told her about her brother's plans and that I am fully involved with the mine. Mm. <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. I didn't think it would be that easy because those boys are very deadly. Even the police commissioner avoids them. Do you know that at the last count, 10 police officers have disappeared without any trace? Your Majesty, getting the boys to switch off their evil plans mm -hmm. was very easy. Well. Wow. Yes, Your Majesty. But Your Majesty, you see, the woman came at me at first with the fact that they were making a legitimate demand and that she had no powers to stop the boys. But I reminded her that it wasn't any of my business if she was killed on that fateful day I saved her. But I risked my life and saved her. When you say you saved her, what exactly do you mean? She was going to be killed by an angry mob. Ooh. She was accused of stealing. But I was very fast and smart to bring in the police to the scene. You did that? Yes, Your Majesty. Ooh. Even without knowing who she was. I made sure that the police released her because I felt she simply acted to hold body and soul together. Mm. So, ever since then, we remained in contact. So when her brother came at us, I reminded her of that event. You know, I have always avoided going out at all with those boys. They're very deadly. Even the police told me that they have a link with the deadly mafia of Abome. Oh yeah, the same idiots that have been trying to lay claim of ownership on that mine. Anyway, I'm so happy that you were able to sort all that out. <laughs> your Majesty. You see, Your Majesty, you do not need to bother yourself anymore. Hmm. What we should be talking about now are plans on how to boost the income of the royal company, huh. such that even if a hundred groups demand that in future, no one will have a heart attack. I'd like to hear that. <laughs> Come with me. Come on. Tell me about it. Your Majesty, you shouldn't be. <clears throat> um, yes, I was with Colette. She was talking to me about some opportunities for the company. So I decided to bring all of you to hear directly from her. Correct? I am talking about all the untapped opportunities. Opportunities that promise not to only elevate the status of the royal coal mine, but will equally generate concentrated revenue for the royal house. We are all about revenue, so go ahead. 
Since I started working at the industry, I've come to realize that we deal with the electrical company as our major client. And that makes me wonder why we haven't been able to reach out to other sectors that need our resources. Our Royal Coal Mine is not the only one in the country, so we can't be everywhere. Now that's one thought that kills business. Who says we cannot dominate the country? Who says we cannot be the major supplier of coal to most paper manufacturers, cement industries, chemical and pharmaceutical industries? I saw the government approval that prompted the setting up of this company. Who says we cannot go into exportation? We have the powers to go into exportation under the supervision of the Export Promotion Council. So why are we not doing that already? Andres, I was to be honest with you. Why hasn't he mentioned this before? These companies I have mentioned, apart from exportation, which happens to be the biggest of them all, need our resources. And we have hundreds of such companies in this country. If they've been thriving for so long now without our resources, which means they've been getting them from other mines, I guess. I guess. With all due respect, my prince, you're beginning to sound like you're not business-minded. Who cares if they're getting their services from other coal mines? Who says we cannot make a better deal with them and take over? Sincerely, I do not just believe. I know we can outplay everybody. Exactly. I like that sentence. We can make better deals and then take over. Now, I want every one of you to think in the light of what you have said. Everyone involved in this company must toe the line of this noble idea. Thank you, Colette. You're welcome, Your Majesty. <laughs> Aguego, Aguego Jolonjo, Aguego, I said Aguego Jolonjo, Oh no, I'm gonna get it, no ro, Aguego Jolonjo. When men fight for money, they fight to finish. When men fight to finish, you better know it's because of money, hey, Aguego. I'll go go jalon jaw, moro. I'll go go. I'll go go jalon jaw. In the coal kingdom, coal has become everything. The question should be, why has nobody even asked that? Or does it mean that? I am the only person in this family whose brain is functioning effectively. Excuse me, old lady. My ribs and shoulders are aching me and I need a massage. And if you don't mind, I will just... Oh, please, President, don't do that. Stop that thing you usually do and make people look like vegetables before you. You know you can't try that with me. Okay, sit down, let's talk. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Why should I bother myself about what you're talking about when it doesn't make any sense to me? We had a situation here with the locals, a situation that would have led to massive bloodletting. And it was just the beautiful wife of my son who handled the issue alone without getting anybody involved. And now you want me to ask her stupid questions? You see, Ferdinand, most times when you talk, I see reasons our father regretted having just one son. You're too weak for comfort. I beg your pardon? Which pardon are you begging? What is that? You make my presentations look like pieces of kibrish. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Since that low life asked me not to come here, to stay in my husband's house, and stupid Kingsley supported her, 
I decided not to talk to them anymore. Listen, Ferdinand. You need to sit her down and ask for her questions. You really need to sit her down and ask her questions. That is what any wise king will do. That is what my father would have done. So Ferdinand, do it. Okay. Amoche, you did serve them drinks, didn't you? Yes, I did. So why then are you claiming that you don't know what the meeting is about? Honestly, I don't know. Amoche, apart from the king and our husbands, who else is in there? My colleagues. Just the five of them? Yes. You may leave. Thank you. Mercy, can you perceive what might be going on there? No. I can't. And it bothers me. Why will they be having a meeting with her and not us? We will find out. Now, I have one question for all of you. Why didn't anyone think like her all these years? Come on, Dad. It goes without saying, her ideas are wonderful. But we've been doing business with all these companies she mentioned. And I myself, I attempted exportation like she mentioned too. When I met a brick wall at the Export Promotion Council, I think the DG they appointed recently does not know anything about how to generate money for the government. Uh, listen, Kingsley, let's not just go there. Don't go there at all. We're the only major suppliers to the Eastern Nigeria Electricity Company. And we make huge revenues from it. Yes, I agree with you. But which other company do we supply? Tell me, which one? Andrew was on a deal with Goodwill Pepper Industry, if I can remember. Yes, yes. When was that? And what is the status of that today? Listen, I, I'm not interested in the past. And I don't think any of you should be. What do you want us to do? Take it from there. That's what we should do. College should be given a chance. If Dublin as the marketing manager and publicity manager is what it requires. Then she gets it. And Andrew? Andrew should work with her. But college should be given a chance to move this company from where we are. I thought you were in a meeting. Eavesdropping? That's not normal if you ask me. I was in the meeting, darlings. There are snakes everywhere. Different varieties of snakes. Interesting. So Colette was in a meeting that concerns the company and I was not there. And what is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Really? When did that start happening? Mercy, why are you so agitated? I am agitated because I do not understand why Colette, who works under me, would be in a meeting with yourself, the king, your brothers, members of the board, and I, who is equally a member of the board, was not there. Well, if it was important you came, you would have been called. I don't understand this anymore. Who is Colette? What does she have to offer? What has she ever offered? I hope we're connecting with those good loves who attack the company and later to first as a savior. Yes, yes. Even a blind man can see that. But my darling husband and his brothers would not. Instead, you all appeared her. Mess, what is your problem? What is it? Why are you so jealous of Colette? I can't take this anymore. I don't want you to talk about this. I don't want you to talk about it here. I don't want you to talk about it outside. And I wouldn't want to repeat myself on this again. I want to catch some sleep. I see how much of that sleep that you need. How much trust do you have in me? 
Why would you even ask that? You think I don't trust you enough? Let's say trust is not the right word. But somehow, I think you feel that I cannot make an impact. Right or wrong? I trust you absolutely. And I feel you can make a huge impact. What I do not know is how you're going to go about it. Because you need to understand this company more to be able to represent it. And nobody's thinking about that. Honey, all I need is the opportunity. I know enough about the company to get it started. I just don't want you to disappoint anyone. But if that is what you want, I'll assist in any way I can. Thank you. But you sound like my post has already been decided. Oh, my father believes in you, that I know. And I believe in you too. There is a demon among the saints, a green snake on the green grass. Oh, a green snake on the green grass. There is a demon among the saints. If a dika collect a biana lum, if a yili collect a biana muso. I do not know, but I'm convinced it's going to be a good day. Cool, cool. I had the Nessa girl investigated on. I'm interested. Yes, she is Ifunaya's next door neighbor, and I believe she now doubles as a messenger. Are you still there, baby? Hello? <clears throat> Thank you for the info. I'll take it up from here. What? I don't understand any of this. Um, Andrew, just calm down. We will explain to you. Explain that I'm being laid off? Nobody is laying you off, Andrew. Calm down. Then what is this? See, Andrew, when the king of the Cold Kingdom makes a decision, nobody challenges him. I'm very sure you can work with Colette. So, working with Colette and working under Colette are two different things, oh, sir. Okay, Andrew. You see, Colette has better ideas on how to generate money for this company. And she needs that position to do so. Do you understand now? Excuse me. he understood the situation. We don't have that time to waste on him. What has he done for this company anyway? See, brothers, in most seriousness and sincerity, this is not the way we handle our employees. It is not. But it's okay. I just hope he understands. Excuse me, I've been very busy in my office. Hello. Yes, how are you? Thank you. 
Good morning, Mr. Andrew. Uh, good morning, madam. Yes, sir. Uh, is everything all right with Mr. Andrew? Uh, he just submitted his resignation letter. I'm actually taking it to the MD now. What? He resigned? Excuse me, madam. It is not decided yet. I mean, the last I heard about that issue was that the king asked my husband to give him some time to think about it. Really? Well, the meeting they had the other day with it. did you manage to find out what it was for? My husband wouldn't tell me a thing about it. Oh, yeah. Mine told me that she made a huge proposal for the company. And that proposal will get her on the seat of the marketing and publicity manager. Hmm. It's a lie. Hmm. Mercy, I don't even see how. When the man holding those positions just resigned. Can you... Can you put the puzzles together? These are the files I worked with while under you. I hope you find someone more competent and punctual to replace me. Good morning, mates. There is something I do always. I go through the mission statement of this corporation and I make a vow to always continue seeking ways to improve the company. The fact is, I am to be trusted and I do believe that you know that, sir. Well, out. I need to speak with my husband this minute. Yes, How nice. How nice? You expect me to be nice? Do you even know the meaning of that word? Mercy. What is the problem? You know, I was worried about the fact that there was a board meeting without me and Colette was there. And just today, she came to me to submit her files, saying that she no longer works under me. And what's more, Andrew resigned. Sweetheart, I don't know why to like when I keep repeating myself. What is going on? Sweetheart, why do you like when I keep repeating myself? I've told you that this is what that wants. I can't do anything. Dad wants you to replace Andrew with Colette? Yes. What does she even know? What qualification does she have? Well, Dad wanted them to work together, but Andrew wouldn't take that, so he chose to resign. And you're willing to let him walk away? Do you know the impact that will create in our company? That can cause his investors to withdraw from our company. My love. We will be fine. Besides, you can agree with me that Andrew has not been doing very well in that position. Let us try other people. If our own comment is the ideal person we need to fill that position, the person that is very competent for that position, we don't have any other option than to give up our support. <laughs> Nessa, 
get back to my office now. And where are you hurrying off to? The MD just called me to come back to his office. I see. All that will end soon. Excuse me? Never mind. Uh, so, he's waiting for me, so can I go now? Ah. Uh, not yet. You see my marriage, I guard it with my life. And anyone that poses as a threat to it, I equate that person as someone who is after my life. Uh, I'm sorry ma'am, but with all due respect, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I have nothing to do with it. Your marriage. The fact that she's your neighbor does not mean you should be her messenger. Especially not a middle person between her and my husband. The next time you pass her message, let her whatever to my husband will be the last time you will walk here. And who knows? Other worse things might follow. So you see? You've got two chances to choose them. Now, Monologue, you do not want to keep the ending waiting. Your Majesty, I will not be objecting if this is not necessary. The decision to make her the head of marketing and publicity was mine, no doubt. But the decision wasn't made in a hurry. I'm sorry to say, my king, but I do not think so. We have our reasons, Miss. You should understand that I do not joke with anything concerning the coal mine. Our nickname, the Coal Kingdom, was derived from that coal mine. I know all of that, my king. I do. But some people who have given this company... The For the one smiling with you is the one sent to kill you. She is waiting for the right time to strike you. Below the bed. Oh, below the bed. Below the bed, where they will strike you. Below the bed, below the bed. If a dika coleta piano, if a yili coleta piano, so. My bed is not alone. On a tagona for the honor. I'm a chick. Do you know where it's exist like this project? Thank you. Are you obsessed with Colette now? She is evil. You think I'm joking? Look, everything about her is beginning to make sense to me now. She is not ordinary. If not, why would she always have her way with everyone and everything? Hmm, she's likable, yeah. She's witty. She's subtly intelligent. Those are her weapons. As a matter of fact, I think we should learn to coexist with her peacefully. Instead of hating her, it's best for everyone. Is that why you couldn't get home first? You don't understand. It, it was brief, but so intense. How did she even find out that we live together in the first place? Oh, no, no, no. The question should be, 
How did she find out about the letter? And how did she know that I delivered it? Did you admit that you delivered the letter to the prince? My darling, I did not even get the chance to admit or deny. She knows the truth. The prince Kingsley could not have told her. I can vouch on that. Well, I need to be very careful. Because she is not just my boss's wife. She's been promoted to the post of the marketing and publicity manager. As I talk to you, she's been elevated. I do not want to be in her bad books. No. But that does not change the fact that we live in the same compound. Or are we going to? I don't know. But honey, that job right there is my life. I don't want to quit. That's all I have to say. I, I really need to get going. Just go. Where did you quit this day? Excuse me? When someone else gets hurt, what games? It has never been games with Prince Kingsley. It will never be. And you know that. <laughs> Come on, baby. What's getting you this excited? Come on, let it out. I can't tell you to guess because I know you are bad at that. You can say that again. Anyway, I am excited because the game is getting hotter. Mm, baby, you know I'm all about games. So which of the games are you talking about now? So do you want to hear how I've suddenly become the head of the marketing and publicity department? What? Mm -hmm. You are kidding me, baby. Of course I am not. <laughs> You're serious? Oh, come on. I love this. I love it. Come on. Wow. Yes, baby. Yes. That's good. That's my new position now. Yeah, it happened too fast. Yes. But I, I am a game. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Baby. Let the game begin. <laughs> get it too much. Come here, baby. Mm. Mm. I know you love me, and you will love me more by the time I start getting the money into your bank account. You can say that again. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's a celebration. Come here. <laughs> wow. Now, let's go to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Let's get all sweaty and hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you waiting for that? Come on, let's yes, do that. Yes, please. You know, I missed you. <laughs> I am happy that you picked up. I just want you to know that like ever, I still love you. It's Maya. Yes, it's me. What are you up to this time? You're calling me with your number. Because you never had taken my call if I'd called you with my number. I had to borrow my friend's phone to call you. Because it is important that I speak to you. You want us to go about how you were blindly led to the hotel? I don't have time for that now, please. Okay? I don't even have need for that. You know why? Because I have moved on. Obviously you have moved on. 
I am not going to convince you about my innocence again because you will never believe me. And even if you do, it will amount to nothing. Because you are married and happy now. What do you want? Nessa, my neighbor and your staff. The same one you got involved by giving a letter to. Why did you do that? I am sorry that I did that. I just need you to please protect her job and her life. Please. Your wife found out that she delivered the letter to you. And she's mad at her. Please. I just need you to protect her. She said the job is her life. I would not be able to live with the guilt if she loses it. Please. I promise not to bother you again if you can do this favor for me. I promise you. Hello? Hello? Are you there? I, I, I heard you. So, what now? What now? Nothing! <laughs> Nothing? I will never have him back again. He has moved on. So should I. Good news. The best I have ever heard since this year. I hope she's good for him. I hope she will make him happy. Leave them to worry about that. What you should worry about is how to put yourself up with another good man. Man? Yes. That way, you will hear faster. Oh, please, please, please. I'm so done with men. I'm done. Because of a man, I lost the only man that I love. Don't talk about men right now. I am so done. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> ha, it's like I'm missing a lot. Not too late to catch up, you know. I promised my wife that I'm going to make you summer cry today, and I'm bent on doing that. Speaking of which. Please, has anybody seen my wife? Isn't she hidden somewhere in your bedroom? <laughs> or oh, probably a top 10 in your bed. <laughs> serious note, I came back hoping to see her, but I didn't. And I was thinking by the time I was up from siesta, she would be back, but I haven't seen her since now. I did see her drive out about two hours ago. Wait to please. Oh, uh, sorry. I, sorry. I, uh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Is it just me or has anyone noticed the pattern between us two? Why don't you worry about the pattern between us? Excuse me. What have I said wrong? I'm only interested in making you cry. Please put the last item on the agenda. Any other business concerning what we discuss or any other thing entirely. In the absence of no other colleagues, do you have anything to say? Um. Actually, I want to make a request. Go on, then. Provided it's going to multiply the income of the company, then go on, then. Of course. I am all about multiplying the income of the company. Well, given my new position, and in order to give it my best, 
I think I need an assistant. Colette, every head of department works with a secretary, not an assistant. Of course. I need a secretary. Did Maggie resign with Andrew? If so, then why she in this meeting? Call it. Maggie is still the secretary for the department. I'm very, very sure she'll be glad to work with you. Isn't that Maggie? Thank you, sir. I sincerely appreciate the confidence reposting me. You're welcome, Maggie. I am sorry, Maggie. You might be all good and that, but you are not the one I would love to work with. You see, I need someone I can relate to. Someone that I understand and in return understands me. I'm just sorry. Quality. You sound like you have someone in mind already. Nessa, precisely. What? <laughs> Me? Do you have a problem with that? I just need you to protect her. She said the job is her life. Call it. We'll look into your request. For now, consider the message to the side. Thank you. Our professional. So, why do I have this feeling that you are avoiding me? Avoiding you? Oh, come on. I am not. So, <clears throat> when was the last time we had that lunch of us? Mm hmm. I like the sound of that. Lunch of ours. Mm. <laughs> Why don't we do this lunch sometime soon? Uh. <laughs> Just when I was beginning to feel that my brother is better in bed. <clears throat> Let's pray she didn't hear all that. Uh, I was sent to you with this file. Thank you. Work calls. Sure. And um, Nessa. Not to worry, you will have a pleasant time working with me. Below the belt, below the belt. If a day can call it a piano loan, if a yin call it a piano moon so, call it in a talo, on a tag on a fugiono. If a day can call it a piano loan, if a yin call it a piano moon so, call it in a talo, on a tag on a fugiono. Enough of the silence, call it. This pregnancy test software does not ever go wrong. I'm already two weeks late and I do not even know. This is not happening. This is not happening. I'm talking to you! <gasps> what? Why did you request Vanessa to be your secretary? Is something wrong with that? I know you saw the letter if Naya sent to me through her. And I also know you have promised to punish her.
I do not know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, don't give me that. I know you saw that letter in my briefcase. But let me tell you, I did not read that letter until the day I tore it into shreds and flushed it down the toilet. Um, look, honey, in all honesty, I do not know what you're talking about. But if your ex sent you a letter and you flushed it down the toilet, then congrats, because I am happy. Colette, if you actually want to work for the good of this company and this family, then you have to put sentiments aside. Let Nessa be! You know what I'm doing? I am drawing my enemies closer. I mean no harm though. By the way, Nessa and your ex are not my problems right now. So what is your problem? If I have any, trust me to handle it. I am going to be married to this man. So what are you implying? That we expect a baby from me at least. No. No, no and no. No babies. Get it straight, please. So how am I going to do it? Do something. Take meals, so whatever, I would do. Just do something. No babies while you are there. Okay? It's not like I'm going to enjoy the torture of having a baby. But it's going to convince them. A baby will do the magic. I insist. No babies. Quad. Errat. Demonstrandum. I was just thinking about you. I know I shouldn't be calling you at this hour, but I was kind of worried about you. Are you okay? I'm fine. So what is there with the deal? Um, I'm meeting with Passion Pharmaceuticals tomorrow. My contact says they want to do business with me. So why don't we see tomorrow after the meeting? Sure. Are you okay? Dad insists on having dinner with everyone. It is said, so I have come to bring my wife to the table. Is it the job that has stressed you out already? <clears throat> I had a hectic day at work, Your Majesty. But I'll be fine once I beat my bed. Just take it easy. No work to have. I still need you to be strong for myself. <laughs> 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 If you don't mind, please, I need to get some rest. No, it's okay. Go and have some rest. Tomorrow is another day. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll join you soon, okay? <laughs> What is wrong with that? 
She's okay? I don't know, but I hope she's okay. Thanks, me. That is not the fact. If you don't know what is wrong with your wife, who will? Seriously, it's not funny. I should be with her now. <clears throat> um, just a minute. You see, you keep forgetting that you are no longer the baby of the house. When you're a grown man, you're a big man now with a wife to take care of. I wonder why you asked me to wait. Please, I need to inquire something from you. All right. I know this is a pregnancy test strip. On top of my games. The CEO is the lady's kind of guy. So I might have an edge. You will not claim you don't know that Andrew was my employee. And because he was your employee, we should, uh, the corporation should stop existing because he decided to leave. Ferdinand, he did not decide to leave. He was forced out of the corporation. And I have come to register my displeasure with the whole process. Only to listen to yourself. Who forced him to resign? Why do I have this feeling that you have become heartless? A young man who put his life on the line for the corporation. To the extent that he fought the mafia of Abomimi head on. He's the person that has been forced out of this corporation and you're behaving as if nothing has happened. Listen, Olido. You may go to Felix and ask him. Everything we did, we did in the overall interest of the company, with emphasis on what comes in as gains. So if Andrew refused to uh, see reason and then decided to sleep, then nobody should be blamed for what has happened. Yes, nobody should be blamed. Nobody should be labelled as heartless. Please. So now that your son's wife has become the corporation's publicist, how is she going to handle the mafia? Only do the mafia is not the only problem the company faces. So judging her just on the mafia is very unfair. Generally, she's doing well, and she should be given the chance to find her bearing. Please. Huh. Is it nine? Would you allow me to keep it if it's yours? Call me a deal. We had a plan, no babies. That plan stands, Colette. I am going to get rid of this. I am going to take care of it, please. Who knows this? Now that you know, 
it's just the two of us. I chose you, Colette, because I trusted you not to mess this mission up. I am not going to mess it up. I am not. I am not going to mess it up. I promise you, I am going to take care of this. Please, Black, please. Now listen to me. Take this little swine inside of you. Get out of my apartment. And never you get back here with it still in there. Welcome home, honey. Thank you. So how did it go with Passion Pharmacy? Great. Good. <laughs> Is it just in my head or are you happy about anything? I am happy with my life because of the notes. How is that for an answer? everyone this place looks dead quiet maybe they know we need our alone time so they all left for us <laughs> let's go in <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. No, you see, Enduka, you have to be in support because you are not getting this. And you need to get it. Let me break it down. The timing is perfect. The royal family, they are making millions of naira every month from that mine. Royal Coal Incorporated, that company. The king and his sons are making a lot of money from there. And if you want to understand something, that mine happens to be the only one in this state. And therefore, they are making a lot of money, and there is no way you will not key into this idea for us to make money from it. We need to make this demand. And for us to succeed, we have to speak with one voice. <sighs> Well, uh, as for me, I can never say no to a plan that promises to make me richer. I have uh, 15 miles to finish and four-story building to complete. 
And uh, I am also expecting that a uh, Doka who is not supporting Chuki into the idea of the first place. Because we need to speak with one voice. Now I understand the reason for the mood swings. I'm too early for such symptoms. Mm -mm. Every pregnancy is different. Some symptoms come early. Hey, I'm sorry for not being friendly lately. Hello? Did I miss anything there? <laughs> this is for you, our beautiful colleagues. I made this and I promised to make it every other Saturday morning. What's, what's this about? You know, darling, because we have been on this road before you, it is our duty to guide you through the special weeks. So you need this. Oh, 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 how nice. But you see, I do not need all that. I'll be just fine. As a matter of fact, I need some TLC, tender, love and care. And I doubt if any of you have that to offer. Isn't this baby giving them a chance to poison me? <sighs> Are you ever going to try convincing me to be nice to her again? Are you? So what are you talking about? An increment? A well deserved increment, your majesty. Mm. Don't be angry. But look at it yourself. And you will discover it's been almost a decade ago that last. Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. So, you all here for this? Oh, uh, yes. To demand that the royal company increase the allocation given to the community? This may not be the best time for this discussion, considering what the hoodlums tried to do. Honestly, it is not out of place, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. It is not out of place, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me ask you all a question. When was the last time any of you sitting here came to me with a suggestion on how to increase the revenue of the royal company? Oh. When? Over a decade. We do respect your majesty. We are all aware that the elders have never been given a chance in the royal business. And your majesty, what we are demanding is constitutional. Yes. As enshrined in uh, section 14, uh, subsection 2 of the constitution of our land, your majesty. As amended. Mm. Well, I see. I've heard your requests. But you will give me time to go back to the board of directors. Um, then I will get back to you. And your majesty, we are thinking that the time is right to involve some of the elders as board members. Exactly. <laughs> members of the board. Mm. Your majesty.
I'm sorry I have to do this. But you see, you came at the wrong time. Maybe sometime in the future, I'll keep you. Handle this. Yes, I can. Let's go. Go on, go on. Kingsley. Yes. Messi and Cassandra have already, already taken her to the hospital. I don't know which one of them. Call Cassandra to find out, please. I could not wait for lunch break to be over. I mean, it's so good to be home alone with you again. I've really missed you ever since Cassandra returned. I really do not know where you get all those wrong ideas from. Hmm. Sam, please, I just had a vacuum aspiration. Yes. Not in the mood. You say that with a lot of ease. Excuse me? I mean, are you not supposed to be emotional after losing a baby? Oh, you're worried I am not flooding this palace with tears? I mean, that's what most women will do. I'm a 
thoughts through? What thoughts? Was it my baby? I mean, is that why you're not feeling the pains of losing it? I hear that the elders are making some sort of demands from the company. Yeah, right. The same demand those hoodlums made? Well, theirs is legitimate. It's not as outrageous as those hoodlums. Will the king grant that? Most likely. We're having a meeting with him after lunch and... Uh, Maybe he will decide, but I think he might give them what they want. What now? Oh, this. It's gone. I'm back in the game. Hmm? And you cut out our contact all this long. That should be because I was making sure you do not smell the swine I was carrying. I'm your biggest sentimental about all this. Mm. Until you become a woman, get in the process of making a baby, and then all of a sudden you're forced to kill it. Then you understand why I'm sentimental. Anyway, there is a bigger problem. And what is it? The elders are making some kind of outrageous demands. What kind of demand? The kind that would take money away from the company. The same money you and I are after. Mm. No, 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 no. It is not happening. Not at all. But you know I cannot pull this one. Yes. We have to handle it right. I... Yes. I know you can. Colette, mm. don't get yourself worked up. You know you need all the rest you can afford now. I am done resting. I am done. Because of the elders' demand? Calm down. The royal house can handle the elders by giving them what will make them happy. This kingdom prospers and works fine when the king and the elders are on the same page. <gasps> I can't believe you're saying this. I want my ass or likewise everyone in this company. Only for those old commercial fellows to make such silly demands. Is that what we work for? To keep feeding their stinking pockets and giving them money to continue parading themselves as sugar daddies to those girls young enough to be their daughters. You don't understand how these things work. <sighs> Let me explain to you. I totally understand how these things work. I understand. Believe me, darling, I do. All I'm trying to say is that these men are getting mad and you know, so they have no right asking for an increment. That's what I'm talking about. You don't even get the picture. Whether you like it or not, the king will do just about anything to make these people happy. Including giving them what they demand from the company. Why don't you just understand that and give yourself a break? Colleagues. These things are not just the way you see them. Photo has become money. Everybody's skimming. They are skimming. Hey, Aguego. I said, Aguego, Jalonja. Aguego. Aguego, Jalonja.
Aguego Jalonja, Aguego Jalonja, Macanonia Tinaca, Onia Tinaca, Ebeluyaca, Emanonia Tinisi, Onia Tinisi, Ebeluyaca. Your Majesty, correct me, please. What are you doing? When was the last time Amuche performed her duties of giving you this very crucial massage? It's been a long time. I've had enough already. Thank you. Your Majesty, with the stress you've been passing through lately, are you sure what I gave you was enough? Allow me to pamper you. Oh. Colette, you and I know that you're the one who needs the pampering right now. Oh, because I lost my baby, I am fine now. Another will come. Mm. But, Your Majesty, what about the stress the elders have been giving you lately? for you, your majesty. I keep wondering why these people won't let you be. Why do they have to trouble you like that? Because of your good heart, they feel they can manipulate you anytime they feel like. And you're going to prove them right by giving in to their demands? Oh, call it. They're entitled to what they ask for. I signed that the very day I became king. The coal belongs to the kingdom. The royal company only got a mere license to mine. Did you also sign to increase it whenever they feel like it should be increased? Your Majesty, these people are getting more than enough. What they get is what you give them out of your benevolence. So they have no right to impose anything on you or the company. Your Majesty, I honestly do understand that this company is your life. Hence, I have vowed to put in my best to make it stand stronger. But you see, I am not going to be doing all of what I have set up to do for some idlers to reap where they do not sow. And I know you do not want that too. Neither does any of the workers. Um. This is what my team and I were able to achieve before I took my short sick leave. But of course, I worked from home. I made contact with Good Works Paper Industries and Jovey Cosmetics. And guess what? They are excited about the prospect of partnering with us. So, call it. Basically, you are trying to tell us that we've closed the deal with Passion Pharmaceutical. Yes, of course. And I have this to back it up with. We are going to start business with the beginning of next month. Before then, I will arrange for a meeting with their representative and the board. Wow. Isn't this wonderful? We've never achieved it this fast before, have we? No, no. That was not fast. Honestly, that was swift. Well, comment. We can't wait to start doing business with those enterprises. And as a matter of fact, the company is indebted to you. 
once again, thank you very much. Um, I think it's about all we have for today's meeting. So I want everybody to go back to your various posts and continue um, working um, there. Um, 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 Mr. MD, I think you're leaving out something. <laughs> really? What could that be? I wasn't here when the chairman, His Royal Majesty, had a board meeting concerning the demands of the elders. The chairman, His Majesty, King Ferdinand XVI, is said to have taken a decision on that. And I do not see any business of ours discussing that here. Why not? We make the money these same idlers are demanding for. So why can't we be involved in the decision making? Well, Colette, in as much as I understand your sentiments, but I'm sorry, we cannot discuss that. Because it has to do with the traditional affairs of the kingdom. Traditional affairs, my foot! Who make the money? We do. What impact has the traditional affairs made on this company? None. Apart from draining our finances. I, for one, mm. will not sit and watch it happen. Well, I've made my decision. We cannot go into this. We cannot discuss this. This meeting is over. Go back to your various posts and keep on working very hard. Thank you, Colin. Thank you. 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 Everybody is entitled to his or her own opinion. And I call it, you don't expect me to just jump up and shut her down. How did you know when you barely even know what she was talking about? Even your baby brother travels in and out of the country for business purposes. Personal business and that which concerns the coal mine, even as we speak, is in Belgium. Belgium for same purpose. And what does my lovely husband do? Sit around, hang around different offices, and make silly jokes. I can't believe you're saying this to me. And I can't believe I ended up marrying the weakest of the three princes of the core kingdom. Ah, oh, God, now this is it. This is why I don't, it seems as if I don't like talking to my wife. I don't enjoy company with my wife. This is just the reason why. Because you lack. You lack a whole lot. You lack. You lack. Well, pull over and I will happily calm down. Because I'm tired of this. When are you ever going to grow up to be a man? When? When will you start taking responsibilities as a man to me and to our son? When? Because of your attitude. I'm being relegated to the back in everything concerning this company. Do you think I'm happy about that? Do you? Well, you see, you can knock on wood. Please wonder that you're comfortably answering my call by this time. You are the swine of yours, I'm going to. Black, I am not that. He's not here. He's probably with one European woman who is one of his wives. Well then, why don't I have a Nigerian woman over here warming my ribs as well? Not both. How is it going with those elders? You know you must keep them out on your own. I cannot get involved now. You've said that already. I've heard of And I'm still doing my best. Now listen to this. I have very important information to give to you. And I trust you to use this information to your advantage. You will be and go. 
they are sent by the others and I think they are set to achieve that which those folks could not. Why are you telling me this now? Because now you need the information. The love of money is the root of all evil. You think you pulled the rifle? By telling lies. You think I did it? Well, I'm um, not thinking how she would use the information you just give to her without looking you in. Connet is a probe. She's a demon in the midst of science. She's a smooth operator. When it comes to things like this, she's so natural. By slipping her way through it, that's a plan. Marry one of the peaks in the area arms. And not to sleep or attempt to sleep with all of them, including the king. What are you talking about? You know, you're a married man right now. And boss has some needs which you're not really available to satisfy. He's with another woman. Isn't that why he wouldn't let me come to the house? You know, uh, I'm so sure you forgive him. Because he has to keep you away from the prying eyes of some people in this land. You know, right now you become very popular. Married to one of the places. I'm banging the other two as well. How... Does that not sound like an achievement? What? You're having the trick cost me? I'm still on two at the moment. Hoping to get the third. The one on the throne might follow as well. You know, the better I relate with them, the smoother the work. She told you that? Well, you gave her one and she gave herself the rest. Don't tell me. I would not go amongst them, but I'm pregnant. So that's what she thought. The palace hall is the boss. Is. Uh, remember, she has to get the stone. And it's one of the rules get the job done. And nobody gives a shit how you do it. I know the guy. But in the mafia circles, specific orders, supersedes all rules. And no subject of mine goes against my orders. She betrayed me. The boss might have to forgive her, boss. Perhaps because of what she's bringing to the table and what she will still bring. Well. Now I know I'm in a game. She's gone with the wings as soon as this is over. Queen's a passage. I don't even know what it's leaking. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's going on here? This is not our usual meeting place. Oh, exactly the same question that I asked. Um, I'm sorry, but it is because it is not our usual kind of meeting. And not the usual person you see around here. Greetings, elders in Council. Come on, come on. Come on. Is, is, your is there a way somebody can start talking to me? What is going on here? Um, elders in Council, she demanded to see us in private and it's equally going to be short and precise well woman you have no right to call us in a meeting and in fact each year madam i am disappointed in you for allowing this insult exactly the uh, chair all the same let us hear what she has to say first thank you sir I am here concerning the recent request for an increment in what is allocated you from the coal mine. I have every right to call for this meeting. 
because I work day and night for that company. The king is kind and lenient. Reasons he can't tell you this. His sons are equally respectful. Hence, they do whatever the king tells them to do. But I am neither lenient, kind, nor respectful to the king. Especially when it has to do with some idlers who wants to use his kindness as a weapon against him. Oh, please, uh, remind me again. Are you not the wife of the last son of the king? Yes, of course. The one that was married last into the palace? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. And what has that got to do with anything? Mm. If you must know, I am equally the publicity manager and marketing director of the Royal Coal Mine Incorporated. Do you know what that means? I work my ass out day and night for that company. I am equally the face of the company. I want to ask you immediately. Mm. What edge does that give you? What edge? Mm. Intelligent question. It gives me the edge to call for this meeting and inform you all that you will get nothing other than what you've been getting. And if care isn't taken, that which you've been getting will be revealed even downwards. No, no, no. Mm, excuse me, please. Mm. Um, are you aware that the increment we are asking for is enshrined in the constitution of our land? Exactly. How can she As I mean that. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Whatever. Just so you know, someone knows that you set Iwe Dinobi and his gang against the company. Now that the indirect effort has failed, you are coming directly and openly. <laughs> we shall see to that. If a deca collects a piano, if a yinny collects a piano, so collects in a talo, or not a gun of Fugion. Ah, honestly, Edas, I never knew why she called. It's a madam, spare me that. What do you mean by that? You don't know why she called. But I did not, did I? She came to me and expressed the need to see us together. And she even promised that it is for good. And you brought us here. You see what I mean? And you brought us here. What is the meaning of this? No, who is she mm. to be of any benefit to people like us? Ask I'm asking you. Who is that woman? Who is she? It's your auto policy. We are pursuing something from the royal company. And I thought her call had to do with it. Well, in a good way, not the way it turned out. Do you what? I sincerely believe that your head should be examined. Because as I'm looking at you now, something is wrong with your head. Mm. It is your head that should be examined. He's even talking. He's even talking. Are you talking to me? What's the matter with you, Chairman? Somebody asked me to call someone the elders. Have you been discussing with her? No, have you ever been discussing with the king directly? Look at her. Even the king himself is not even the managing director of, of that corporation. Of course. What is wrong with you? And now you have the efforts to bring us to this place after having a private meeting with the woman? Hey. And you're talking to me? Uh, Nietzsche, was it just to my hearing? Or did any of you hear that woman accuse us of sending uh, Iwe Dimnobi and his men to make the request from the royal company? Hey, listen, Nietzsche, look at We're not going to praise that woman by sitting down here hmm. discussing what she said. Because she's a mad woman. It is very glaring that she has gone crazy. Mm. And we cannot just discuss whatever thing that she said because they don't make sense. Yes. Listen, eh? this useless meeting mm. called by useless Ishii mm. to this very useless place has ended. Mm. And I'm out of here. No time is time. Well, come, come in for this kind of nonsense. Is this what you see what it does cost? Did you see it? It's what it does cost. You cast it? 
thought you wouldn't come back. I would never do that to you. How do you feel? Four days following the procedure was hell. I cramped like I've never done. But I'm fine now. That's great. Anyway, I just want to thank you for everything, Doctor. You see, I've been very busy at work. Hence, I haven't been able to come. And I'm adding this to the original amount just to thank you for your discretion. I'm happy I could help. But hope you wouldn't mind my asking. Why did you do it? I have been this worried ever since I gave you those pills. Well, doctor, do yourself a favor. Do not add me to the list of your worries. Do have a nice day. I hope we are good with this little secret of ours. Just so you know, someone knows that you set Iwe Dinobi and his gang against the company. Now that the indirect effort has failed, you are coming directly and openly. <laughs> We shall see to that. What does she know? Who is this woman? And why is she the one worried about our request? He would have no be. I knew that he had something to do with her. But he kept denying it. This can only mean two things. He wouldn't know be lied to me. Or she knows someone that knows about the deal with you wouldn't know be. But then how was she able to get the credit for stopping you with him nobi and co? Well, you all know that I do not hurry up in my decision making. That we trust your judgment. So anything you decide is okay with us. Samuel? Yes, Dad. <clears throat> what do you have to say about the issue of the time? Oh. Um. Are you saying you don't have anything to contribute to this issue? Oh, Dad, this is not my decision to make. Well, I'm giving you the opportunity to do so now. You, Felix and Kingsley, you all must assure me that you will be able to take quality and important decisions concerning this company, even when I am not here. I know that. I agree with you that we need to step up in the decision making. But come on, Dad, this is different. This has to do with traditional affairs and not just business. Well, this is your opportunity to partake of that traditional process. I already know what I should do concerning this matter. But maybe, just maybe, your decisions will influence mine. So, what is it going to be, Dad? If we say give to the elders what they want, you give to them. And if we say don't, you won't? I need you to go back and think about this issue. Or think out of the box. Putting everything into consideration. We shall meet again and take a decision about this. No way. After all I told him, he's even going to give this a second thought? <sighs> it's okay, Dad. We will do as you instructed. I just hope it ends well. So. Yeah. 
And I want to thank you for answering my call. Yes, it is actually very important. Just before you speak, I need you to know that I do not have a decision on that matter. What matter? I know it's very important to you that the king grants your request. But also you must know that that is the king's decision to make in time. I cannot influence it. That's not why I called you here. Then why did you call? Call it. Prince Kinsley's wife. What makes her tick? Colette. Am I here because of Colette? Listen. What has she done to you? She called the elders to the meeting. And then she sounded as if she's the one in charge. Is she the one in charge? And you feel that the best person to dig out for you is myself? You know, for the way you are sounding, it is very clear she gets in your way as well. Is that correct? That is what makes Colette Colette. Getting at everyone in the worst ways. And nobody has managed to put her in her place in that palace? No, is she not the youngest wife there? And the only one who is here to give a child to the royal home? Is she not? I only know one thing. What? She is deep. Deep into what? Listen to me, my dear Mercy. I call you here because you are the senior wife in that palace. And if there is anybody who can give me the information I need in a time such as this, then you are that person. You just confirm to me that she is deep and I'm asking you, what is she deep into? Ichi, you see, I will advise that if you have a fight with Colet, then you face her directly. But you must know she is very powerful. And she gets whatever she wants. All right. But if you ask me what she's deep into, like you just did, I may not be able to answer that question. She is deep. I see that. <laughs> I see that. I was with a chair at our police last night. What has that got to do with me? Uh -uh. Listen, old lady, I do not have a problem with uh, what you want to do with your life. If Chiyota Okulisi is the one you want to be with, then do that without mentioning a word of it to me. Excuse me? What are you insinuating? I am not insinuating anything. I just do not want to talk about Chiyota Okulisi. Anyway. He said a lot of things that oh, made sense to me. And I said I do not want to hear of it. Why? The same Ottawa policy that broke the men of this kingdom? That made them give you their signatures for the mining license? Why, why don't you want to listen to him now? This same Ottawa policy was the one who engineered the amendment of the constitution that forces the royal mind to part with more money, remember? Some days ago, this same author Kulisi was the one who engineered some of the elders to come to me and inform me that they are now thinking of some of the elders being on the board of the corporation. You are not serious, are you? Oh, you see, you do not know the man. And that's why you are here telling me about him. Well, he was wrong to have done that. Oh. But truly, he said a lot of things about Colette oh, and... Oh, Princess Oledo. I said I do not want to hear anything about Otto Polisi. This meeting has ended. Well, I promised I was going to give the, get back to them. And I would do just that. Mm. Well... Here we are. Yes. Here we are. This meeting that can only take place in my bedroom. I will be so thrilled to hear what you have to say, Colette.
Thank you, but he's not really talking. Can my boss be ended yet? Come to well, maybe. But uh, I think I'll be more thrilled if I can hear what you have to say. Like you do not know that already. I, 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 I have no, oh, I have no slightest idea. What you haven't been bold enough to ask for, which nobody will deny you anyway. Comrade, hold on. Hold on, comrade. See, this, this feels good. I'm already having a good time. But are we not forgetting some people here? My brother, your husband, and my wife. Come on. Now you've mentioned them. I remember. But you see, my big boss, you have nothing to worry about. Your brother is in Europe doing his business. And as for your wife, you and I know she's far, far away from this castle. So you see, my big boss has nothing to worry about. She's ready for the right time to strike me. The problem I have with you ladies of the co kingdom is that you tend to believe that you can get all things from all men by by sampling your beauties. Hmm? Sincerely, Wedinobi, I don't know where that is coming from. I asked you for something and you invited me over. Are you not going to give me the money? There's something I want to ask you, Vivian. What makes you think that somebody like me will give you 400,000 naira just like that? Uh -huh. yeah? uh -huh. Well, well, well. You can give me the money because you are Iwe Dinobi, the leader of the youths of the cold kingdom. You are the one that controls all the money payable to the youth. And uh, without missing words, I know you are very rich. Eh, uh, eh, uh, yeah. You, you can give me the money mm -hmm. uh, because you are Iwe the Nobi, uh, leader of, 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 the, of the youth of the co Kingdom. Oh, yeah. Are you confirming to me? Possibly that you have been discussing my affairs with your colleagues. Listen, Iwe, I don't have time for all these crappy discussions. <laughs> for you know me too well. I do not mingle myself with unserious individuals. I'm here because of the money you promised me. Are you going to give me the money? <laughs> Mm. Ah. Viviano Forma, mm -hmm. daughter of a former transport yeah, yeah. of the co kingdom. Yeah, yeah. You know your problem? Hmm? Overfeeding. Yes! They've overfed you that you have, you have become so big. So, are you telling me that you, you, you have become so mature that you can come before me, talking to me with this level of gods? Eh? Forget that I'm a woman. I'm equally among the volatile youths of the cold kingdom. 
and, 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 and we also have some instruments of violence. Are you going to give me the money? <sighs> Do you have the slightest idea of the meaning of the division of what we just did? What we just did is what you and I have always learned for. I feel satisfied and happy. Don't you? I didn't realize my brother is married to a devil. A devil in the midst of sense. And you, the head of the saints, love that devil, don't you? Of course, she is irresistible. A devil we know, and a devil we all have come to love. <laughs> anyway, before I get carried away with all these seasons of yours, I was meaning to ask, what will your answer be to the king concerning the issue he asked you and your brother to go think about? I mean, concerning the elders' demands. Call it. You were not in that meeting, were you? How did you get to know about this? I know just about anything and everything I wish to know. Call it. I am just getting to know you, the devil. I am pleased. <laughs> so tell me, what will your answer be? See, Colet, I already know your stand on this issue. But in all honesty, their demands will not add a hole in the company's pocket. Yes. Money is everywhere. Foco has become money Everybody's scheming They are scheming for the money Hey, Aguego I say Aguego Jolonja Aguego Noro Aguego Jolonja Aguego Jolonja Call it, please I am beginning to get uncomfortable with your stay. Come on. Anybody can come in here. And you do the implication of them seeing us like this. Please just go. Please. You see what you and I just did? I am willing to give it to you more and better. Just think of getting those elders out of our way. did my brother get this one from? Call it! What 
were you thinking doing that? Um, have you lost your mind and your voice? Why would you do anything like that? I can explain. It's not what you think. It's not what I think. What is it then? Call it. Calling the elders in a meeting. What right of yours is it? Oh, that. You head of it too? And soon, everyone else will. Call it, are you out of your mind? Why would you do that? Mercy, you know I always, always take care of my business. Just like I took care of the locals. I am doing the same thing with the elders. Call it. I need you to understand that this business is none of your business. We will see about that. <sighs> For a second, I thought the bitch knows that I got saved by her husband. She's waiting for the right time to strike you below the belt. Oh, below the belt. Why do you keep coming to me with that idea? Because it is very important, you would not be. I already ended the deal with you, Ichi. Because of a woman? What? You know, you ended the deal with me because of a woman? No, no, you keep talking about a woman, Ichi. There was never a woman as far as that deal is concerned. Huh? Now, now you're going to give me that look now. What is it all about? Listen to me. Huh? Call it Prince Kinsley's wife. How much did she pay you to end this deal that I started with you? How much? Huh? What is uh -uh? Why are you claiming you don't know what I'm talking about? Hey. Listen to me, I know everything. And I came to your place to look into your face and tell you that you have been busted. <laughs> Listen, I know everything. But my problem is, why are you such a moron? A man like you that I hold in high esteem in this kingdom, how could you descend so low to cancel this deal that is supposed to give you more millions that you should be spending in this kingdom just because of a woman? Just stop, 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 please, stop, stop this, okay? Stop, because I, I, I don't just know what you're talking about. Huh? Why are you lying? Let's stop, okay. You, you want the truth? I want to know everything. Fine. Fine. The reason I backed out of the deal was not because of a woman. But what? I never dealt with any woman, let alone Prince uh, Kessler's wife. So who? The mafia of Abomeme came after me. What? They asked me to back down because they have an interest in the company. So I did. Huh? Let me ask you, if it were to be you, will you be arguing with the mafia of Abomeme? Let me understand this. By mafia of Abomimi, are you telling me in any way that the dreaded Sir Black is connected with this in any way? Yes. What? Yes. No, now that you have known the truth and everything, will you quit bothering me? Yeah? And please, sir, never in your life Link me with any woman in the future. What? I have my problems and my flaws. Women in all their manipulations and seductions can never be part of my problems. If you can call that, then you and I could be useful to one another in the future. Oh, yes, sir. If I were here to talk about the demand, I should have come with other men in council. But as you can see, I am here alone. 
I came here in my individual capacity as you see our power policy of this kingdom to ask my king a direct question and I need the king to answer me directly have you or anyone around here doing anything with the mafia of abomin mafia of abomin yes your majesty mafia of abomin who would anyone here be doing with that useless mafia of abu Mimi? who have been scheming their criminal ways into hijacking the coal mine from us a lot has happened already your majesty and i'm doing everything possible to put the pieces of puzzles together but as we speak everything is pointing to the fact that someone around here is working closely with the dreaded sablak the one who has assumed position as the head of the mafia of Abomini. You cannot go in there, colleagues. What is that swine doing in there with the king? You call Ichi Otao policy a swine? Do you know who that man is and the influence he wears in this kingdom? Forget about what I just called him and forget about his position in the land. My question is, what is he doing in there? Since when did it matter what a council member discusses with the king? Do I smell conspiracy? Oh, our dear colleague here is so uncomfortable with the meeting going on between the king and the chief of our policy. Mm. Colette, are you still obsessed with this issue? You see, I have come to accept and leave with the fact that both of you have got porous brains. What? And I pray you get smart before the ship sinks. She's sinking already. I'm just going to sit here and watch that happen <laughs> porous brains Collect. Oh. It's your talk, police. do you know the implications of what you just said your majesty i am very positive and that is because i investigated very well so why would you want Colette investigated your majesty when a man in my position leaves the comfort of his house to appear before the king to make such witty allegation, I expect you, your majesty, to initiate a process of investigation. You are a man of stupendous authority, your majesty, and I know that much. And I want you to explore all the authorities at your disposal and unmask what has been happening right under your nose. Your majesty. This has been a very long meeting. Don't you think it's time to get some rest? Stop there! Stop right there, Colette! What do you have to do with the Mafia of Abu Mimi? What? What sort of a question is that, Your Majesty? I am talking about Mr. Black, the head of the Mafia of Abu Mimi. The same idiot who has continued from where his father stopped. Do you know him? What do you have to do with him? Your Majesty, I have only heard about the Mafia of Abu Mimi. I do not even know the name of their leader. Neither do I have anything to do with them. Hey, I am in sheer utter opposition. 
They are losing in the eyes of Unjikoka. I'm not afraid of anything. And no woman, no matter where they are connected to, can scare me with their protruding eyes. You are already connected to the head of the dreaded Abomini Mafia. Now talk to me like the woman who is connected to the soul of the Mafia. I am trying to calm down, but I, I am unable to. How on earth did he get the clue? You said he was with Ichi or Tao Hulisi when he said it. And that devil looked at me like he knows something. Claiming before me that he isn't scared of anything. Oh, Black. You know, honesty, I am scared. <laughs> You need not be scared. It flows in the blood. Like they fear my father, they must also fear me. Every mention of my name sends down chill down the spine of everybody around there. And that is what makes me who I am. Uh, 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 black, Black, listen, listen to me, please. This isn't a joke. It's not even funny. So please do not make a joke out of it. Please. I know he's making a joke. Now listen to me. You've done good convincing the king that I am a bastard you have not heard of before. You have to keep it going that way. And I will take care of things from this end. Okay. Hello. Are you still there? Um, 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 black, black. You, you have to, you have to call me back later. Casey just returned. Very well then. Do good to be a good wife to your husband. I will tidy up my hand. <sighs> God, let's fix this. Fix this. Fix this. What has been happening around me? Father, you mean you're going to believe each year over a woman who has served this family and company selflessly? Kensley, bring your voice down. You don't talk to dad like that. What is wrong with you? Okay. Well, I'm sorry if you feel I've been unfair to your wife. But I don't see anything wrong in being cautious. <clears throat> I need to understand something, Dad. Why would Ichie accuse Colette of such act? He's looking out for the company, I guess. Let us not forget this man we are talking about. He was the one who convinced the required 60% of the population to sign the document that facilitated the mining license that was granted to our company by the Ministry of Mines and the Mineral Resources. I know that about him, Dad. I know. But this is very, very tricky if you ask me. I mean, nobody wakes up and makes such an accusation just because he's watching out for the company. The same company that the same woman that is accused have toyed selflessly for. Kinsley. This is ridiculous. I'm disappointed in everyone. Kinsley, I've told you to bring your voice down. You are disappointed in me? Kinsley? Dad, I've had a long flight. I'm jet lagged. Well, if you don't mind, I, I need to get some rest. Very obvious. Go on, get a rest. Because your head needs it. Dad. So what is going to happen now? I mean, what is it going to be? What is going to be? Is that I have toiled so much for this company to bring it to where it is today. And you know how the Mafia operates. I do not want the Mafia near my company or my family. That is what it's going to be. What am I doing here? What are you doing here? You promised that I will never return here again. And you promised you will back out. Exactly! And I did back out. But Sabla, I told you that I would do and I did. I have reasons not to believe you. What? You were denied. Let me ask you. 
Does anyone know the true reason behind your backing out of your demand from the coal company? Oh, I can see the guilt in your eyes. You told someone about my involvement. Now, do you want to tell me who and who you told about my involvement in your backing out? And what do you intend to do with the information? <laughs> we, 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 we can resolve this. We can resolve this. Oh. Yes, I, I, I did mention to someone that you let me back out, but I am sure there will be no issues. You will admit, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the show. What's up? You think I have anything with the Mafia too? I don't know what to think anymore. I, I do not even know why someone would come up with this trash. No. Why would you be involved with this trash? What do you mean? Why you? Why is it someone else? Baby, maybe you have to believe me. I do not know how this happened. I do not know why someone would associate me with the people I do not even know. But you know what? I am going to dig deep into this and then I'll... You will not do anything, no. So, so I should just fold my hands and, and watch someone destroy me with this. Nobody is going to destroy you. You just told me now that you don't know anything about it. That is it. So you believe me? I believe you love this family too well to bring any harm to us. And that's because you're part of this family. Thank you for all this, all this coming right back. What do you mean by Iwe the Nob is dead? It means what it means. He was found dead along the road leading to his house. Hmm, it's a pity. What? Who is Iwe the Nobi and what does he have to do with anything? Iwe the Nobi was the leader of the locals. The same locals that made demand from the company the other time. He was their leader. The group that asked for 15 million naira? Yes! Monthly? Yes! And then he confessed that Sir Black and the Mafia of Abomi were the ones that made him to back down. Can you see, you know, are you beginning to put the pieces of puzzles together? I'm trying to make sense out of it, you know. Well, I don't understand. Listen to me. They made a request from the company. Yes that the company must continue to pay them 15 million naira every other month. Mm -hmm. Then Sir Black forced them to back down from that request. Can't you see the reason why he would do that? The reason is very simple. He has the same interest. He is targeting the same thing. Sit down. And now they say Iwe the Nobi is dead. Mm -mm. And now Iwe the Nobi has been murdered. 
just few days after he confessed that Sir Black made him to back down. Few days after I told you that Colette might be involved with the mafia of Abomeme, one way or the other. All these things are happening, Your Majesty. And remember, remember that Colette was the one that delivered the letter written by the same Iwe Dimnobi who just got murdered. All these begin to make sense to me. Of course, it should make sense to you, Your Majesty. But, but Ichi, how are you involved in all this? I don't understand. Uh, Your Majesty, do you have any doubt that I care so much for the royal coal mine and that I have the interest of this family at heart? Do you have any doubt? Your Majesty. What? Why are you avoiding this? I mean, avoid you. So why would I avoid you? Maybe because someone is trying to paint a bad picture of me. You will not let that bother you, will you? Mm -mm. Because I am innocent. So, I won't. Now tell me. Why are you avoiding me? Oh. Maybe because the sugar I served you the other day is too much? Come on, call it. What sugar are you talking about? Did you just ask me what sugar? Call <sighs> it. Oh. I remember now. This sugar. Call it, please. Can we not do this? Can we not just talk about this? At least not here, please. Oh, God. Now I can give it to you right here. On this table. <laughs> um, Cassandra is there. I have a meeting with both of you. Cassandra, please sit. for both of you from the channel. From the king? Yes. Call it. Cassandra has been appointed as your new partner. And what do you mean by partner? Maybe co-manager could be the right word. From now, she'll be working very closely with you. She'll be involved in all the meetings and deals you've been doing with our existing customers and clients, and even the prospective ones. So you have to fill her in on what you've been doing so far. Cassandra, congratulations on your new post. Thank you very much. Now I'm beginning to feel like I'm relevant after all. <laughs> Call it. Is there any problem? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Good. I, I do not have a problem with that. Good. I know two of you are going to work very well. Congratulations, Cassandra. It's getting worse by the day. It's getting hotter. I have dealt with that brat, you were the nobby. You dealt with him, but the seed he planted is sprouting. Nobody trusts me anymore. I am getting their trust back and do that as swiftly as possible. It's not easy as you think. 
So what do you have my door? You know what? We have to stay away from each other for now. We'll only talk on phone. That's okay by me. I can live with that. I will close the deal with Jovey Cosmetics as discreetly as possible and send the money to you before my partner gets involved. That's okay. I trust you, baby. I trust you very much. I know. Let the game begin, bitches. There is a demon among the saints. A green snake on the green grass. Oh, a green snake on the green grass. Your Majesty, it was a setup. Someone set me up with him. Someone set you up with a man seen coming out of a hotel room with you. Just listen to yourself. I was seen coming out of a hotel room with a man, but it has nothing to do with anything. Really? So you can confidently confirm and admit that you were seen with another man coming out of a hotel room when you know you're supposed to be engaged to my son. And you say it has nothing to do with anything. I think it's pathetic. I know. It, it should not be. I should not be seen around with another man. I'm coming out of a hotel room. But nobody wants to hear me out. Nobody. Well, if the prince says he does not want to have anything to do with this anymore, then there is nothing I can do. I'm sorry for that. I deserve to be heard, Your Majesty. I actually was supposed to have business with me, but I'm innocent. I... Please let me. If for Nanya, whatever happened to her? Why does the thought of her fill my head? Your Majesty. I was looking for you at the lounge. Well, I'm here, not at my lounge. Obviously. Um, Amuche has gone to the market. So, I uh, noticed it's uh, time... My shoulders are perfectly okay now. Thank you. So, how are you coping with your new partner at work? You mean Cassandra? Who else? I didn't want to comment. But since you've asked, I can't remember asking for a partner. Oh. <laughs> we thought a little help would not hurt you. A help is appreciated when it's serving a good purpose. As a matter of fact, I spend my time these days coaching Cassandra. Is it good for business? I'm sure she will learn quickly. She's a smart person and down to earth. Always willing to learn. What if I tell you Dublin as a coach and as a marketing manager sets me back? Why do you want her removed? Your Majesty, I do not want her removed. I only want to do my job without any kind of distraction. Now tell me, isn't this the real reason you came looking for me? Did you really want to give me a massage? This meeting was fixed over a week ago. And not remember cancelling. What do you mean the meeting was cancelled? Madam, I'm surprised you're saying this. We received a call from your company last evening to cancel this matter. My company? 
Listen, I am the face of this company as far as this deal is concerned. I'm sorry, madam. I suggest you go back to them and sort things out. There is nobody to get back to Mr. George. This deal was supposed to be closed today. Are you telling me I should get back to who? Are you going to make the initial deposit or not? I'm sorry, madam. This can't happen anymore. This company will continue to do business with your company as soon as whatever the problem is is being resolved. Then we kick up from where we stopped. What right does she have to cancel the deal I started? What does she even know? Call it. Keep your voice down. Cassandra has nothing to do with this. Well, she's supposed to be my partner and I handed every single document to her. She knew the deal would be closed today. God, let. I've told you to keep your voice down. What is wrong with you? Cassandra told me she has nothing to do with this, that she did not cancel the contract and I believe her. Excuse me. <sighs> Hello, this is Felix. Managing Director, Royal Gold Mine. This is George Okwazo from Jovel Cosmetics. We received a call from His Royal Majesty, King Ferdinand the Sistine, cancelling the deal we are trying to seal with your okay. company. I'm calling you as the MD so you guide us on the way forward. Well, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Do have a great day. That was from Jove Cosmetics. The chairman cancelled the deal. The chairman? You, you mean the king? With all due respect, Father, that was unfair to call it. You should have informed her instead of allowing her go there to disgrace herself. Well, I'm sorry about that. I cancelled at the last minute. Why? Is there a problem? None that I cannot take care of. Anyway, that's not why I called you. You know, recently I've been unable to get the thought of Ifunaya out of my head. Father, what has Ifunaya got to do with anything that concerns me? Okay, let's forget about Ifunaya. Tell me, son, how did you meet your wife? How I met Colette. Mm -hmm. Father, you are going to take me down a memory I do not want to visit again. I, I met her the very day if I broke. Thanks for coming to check up on me. I am better now. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> well, well, you. <laughs> you looked beautiful that day, but not this beautiful. I do not see how that is not true since you were all sober that day. <laughs> sober is an understatement. <laughs> and I'm happy to speak with the sober prince, even though you were all staggering and... Oh, you know. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Make fun of me all you want. Oh, I'm so I... sorry, my prince. I will never make fun of you. Mm. I'm just happy that you've come out of whatever happened to you that day. Bye-bye. I really haven't gotten over it entirely. You have not? Yes. But I, 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 I might, I will, if you oblige me one favor, the favor of having dinner with me someday. Maybe today, tomorrow. It, really? A dinner is what you require of me? That's all. Well, I'm honored. <laughs> you will? Yes, my prince. Thank you. You're welcome. So, can I call you up at place of work today? Sure. Thanks again. You're welcome. <laughs> we had dinner together. After then, 
we realized we couldn't stay away from each other. I remember she claimed to be an orphan and an only child. And that was why her uncle stood in for her father on the day of your traditional marriage. But apart from that uncle of hers, is there any other immediate family member that you know? Did you hear my question? Father, we know her uncle. We also know she's an orphan and an only child. Which other family member do we need to know? Okay. Forget about any other family member. Do me a favor, son. Do you know the girl you're married to? I mean, where was she all this while? What was she doing before you met her? Father, where are all these questions? Is something wrong? Or does this have to do with what Ichie Otao Kolisi said? No, no. But it has to do with the belief that I have that you know nothing about the woman you married. Money is everywhere. Foko has become money. Everybody's scheming. They are scheming for the money. Hey, Aguego. I said, Aguego, Jalonja. Aguego, Noro. Aguego, Jalonja. Good evening, Princess. I was able to meet them before the close of work, but we could not have a meeting. Were you able to present the proposal at all? Oh yes, your majesty. I hinted them, but we could not discuss in details. Good. So you have to follow up. Your majesty, what is going on? Go slack it. What is this now? You are not only going to take my job from me. You will equally give my husband to another woman. What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? You are here having a meeting with Cassandra over a deal I'm supposed to be making. And who did I see on my way in? Ifunaya! Oh, come on, Colette. You don't have anything to worry about. I just had a harmless meeting with her. Ah. A harmless meeting. Mm. How harmless? Well, if you must know, she wants us to have audience with me so that she could explain what led to the mess that ended her relationship with my son. So today, I gave it to her. So how is that for harmless? Well, where were we at? Oh, by tomorrow we shall conclude on the meeting. Okay. That's good. I trust your potential. Oh, yes, you can go ahead and do that. Baby, it's okay. I don't like this. I don't like what you're doing to yourself. This is actually okay. I do not deserve this. What? What did I do to deserve it? This treatment. What? 
all I ever did was serve the company with all of me. Why am I being treated like this? Why? It's okay, baby. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm Kinsley, please. Do not tell me it's okay because it is not okay. You do not know how it feels being treated like you do not exist. Everything will be fine. Okay? Everything will be okay. All it will take is time. Just continue being yourself and in time everybody will see the truth. Everything has been taken away from me. Everything. Does that include me? Do you know how I felt? When I saw your ex leaving and was told she just had a meeting with the king. Do you, do, do you know how I, I, I felt? Do you, Honey, I, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving you. You are mine forever. And as long as you have me, you have everything. I'm here for you, okay? Having you is just a piece of the puzzle. It's not enough. My God, how do I pull through this? Just when I thought I was on top of the game, everything, everything comes crumbling. Black, where are you? I need your arms around me now. <laughs> what do you think? That I don't know why you are all over me now? Oh, but I am always all over you. You are my wife. Really? I'm trying hard to remember the last time we sat like this. Can I make it up to you now? Oh. Can he make it up to me? Yes, but that will cost you a lot. Hmm. Anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> so should I start now? Do I start now? <laughs> you know what, baby? Yeah. I'm so proud of your achievement with this company. I am. You should. Come here. <coughs> Get a room already. Colette, quit interrupting. We are already in one. <laughs> what is happening to me? Why does it seem like all my plans are falling apart? None of the brothers will fall for my usual tricks. As a matter of fact, they've grown closer to their wives and practically avoid me. I do not have the chance of talking with them, let alone seduce and bend them into doing my wish. Why are things falling apart? Cool, lads. What are you not doing right? Are you okay? Standing here all alone by yourself. I'm sure you already know the answer. Hmm. Thinking about all the problems flying your way this period, huh? <laughs> Do I smell mockery in your voice? Mockery? Oh no. I would never mock you for any reason. You're the smart one, remember? The one who always has everything figured out, right? <laughs> I'm sure you will find a way around this. I'm sure we'll 
Hmm. You know, I knocked on your door severally, but I didn't get a response. Cassandra and her husband are very busy in their bedroom. I didn't want to disturb them. So, you know what that means, huh? I needed to let someone know that myself and my darling husband are going out of this castle. It's our son's visiting day at school. <laughs> my regards to the boys. You hear? Uh, um, and mercy. I just want you to know that I will get back to the top. And I wish you luck. <laughs> Maybe it is time to draw up a different plan altogether. But one thing is sure. I am not living here without achieving the goal. What do you mean by that? My king. It's either she has not called any of them yet, or she has no connection with them. Have you been able to intercept any of her calls at all? Yes, my king. Peace. I have printed call logs for the past two days. But none of those numbers look suspicious at all. But Father, can you just calm down with the interrogations? There's no need for that. I believe she knows what she's looking for. I mean, you hired this lady to attack my wife, telling me it's in the interest of the family. And now you think otherwise? No, no, not exactly. But I believe you should trust her judgment. Young lady, since you attacked my wife, have you found anything incriminating? Not yet. But two days is such a short time for anyone to reach any conclusions. Now, listen to me, Tasha. They may be in the mafia of a bull in me. Or whatever. I still remain the king. The head of principalities in this kingdom. I can never be distracted by anyone. Continue with the process until something is achieved. Mm -hmm. Kingsley, maybe my son. But do not provoke the beast in me. If you sabotage this process by telling your so called wife that she has no wire tapped, you will find out why the same mafia has not been able to annihilate this family since they started strategizing. Father, you now threaten me because of this. Where have I gone wrong? I know how long it took you to build this country. Your mother died from an accident that was believed to have been planned by that same mafia of her own. If you have any iota of sense, you will support the unmasking of this same mafia to see if they have gained access into this family. And why must it be my wife? Ah, she gave us this angel. Listen, my son, I don't want to have any further argument on this. And you, Tasha, okay. if you prove to be incompetent, I will ask your company to replace you. Oh, yes. Are we not going to say anything about this? Oh. <clears throat> this is not right! This is even illegal! Kinsley, calm down. Okay, calm down. Let's trust that on this. Kingsley, I know you have the interest of this family at heart. So I believe you will not do anything to sabotage this process as that has warned. If your wife is real and clean, definitely she will come out clean. So we need your maximum cooperation here. You know what I'll do? I will love my wife and make her comfortable. Very comfortable in a matrimonial home. Okay. 
Oh, no, Tasha, do not be terrified about taking her back by his outpost. Forget his size. He's just a small boy of the family. Our small boy, like my father has said, we need results. We need you to continue this process. The royal family has low tolerance for incompetence. So if you feel you cannot do this, you let us know. Have I made myself clear? I have seen that already. Thanks for your confidence. How do you think I feel most times not having you around? Especially at this trying moment. I understand, baby. But I also want you to know that I can't work for my father's company forever. That's why I'm always out there chasing papers. Hmm. I love that. Chasing papers. You know I love chasing papers too. I know, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. So, which is why I feel drained with this um, unwanted leave the king puts me on. It's okay, baby. Don't worry. This will pass. Talking of the king, what has he been up to? He hardly even allows me into his presence. He can't even stand me anymore. Just because of one silly rumor. You know what I want us to talk about? What? I want us to talk about how I'm going to give you a treat at the newly opened Chinese restaurant after which we go see a movie. What's the title of that? Your favorite film? Um, Sizzlers. Yes. Sizzlers. <laughs> but then, well, it sounds like fun, but you haven't told me what the king has been up to. Well, it is refreshing to confirm that I still have the one I am married to. Maybe I'll turn him into my only weapon. That seems like the only viable option left to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you more, you know that, don't you? I do. I need to go get it. <laughs> I had the time of my life. As long as you're concerned, my <laughs> aim is to please you. Good evening, oh. my prince. Good evening, ma'am. My prince, the king awaits you at the guest room. <sighs> Tell the king I'm just coming back from dinner with my wife and I'm tired. My prince, I think it is very important. They all have been waiting for you all evening. They? Who are they? Prince Felix, Prince Samuel, the king, and the guest. Why don't you take them? Tell, tell my father I'll join him shortly. Okay, my prince. Um, what guest is she talking about? Salem, why didn't you just go upstairs, fresh air? Jump into bed. He promised to return the favor. Hmm? Yes. Mm. <laughs> I see you soon. All right. <laughs> I only came here because that's the only way to stop my wife from coming here. I told you all I don't want to be involved in this. What now? You are going silent on me? Come here, son. Tasha has something to show you. These are your wife's calls that were intercepted earlier today. What about them? This number here. 
is registered under Magus Okwemeke of Abobo. Does that name ring a bell to you, son? There's only one Magnus Okwemeze in Abomini. He's the one we know as Sablak. And your little software here indicates that my wife made a call to him at the time shown on your screen. Anyways, um, I was with my wife at that exact time. She didn't make any call. Unfortunately, my little software, like you called it, does not lie. Sorry. You done? Yes, I am. So you're fine now. Mm -hmm. We can flip that out as well. Sure. Waiter! So? You were. So, do you think she actually went to ease herself? Look, look, look. She's dialing my machine on the right now. Look. Look at that. Black, I am telling you what is happening right now. The maid just told me they've had this woman as a guest in the palace for four days now. What has the woman got to do with anything? About four hours ago, when we were talking, you told me that you were on top of this, when you were having dinner with her, your son of your husband. Oh, Black, that was four hours ago. See, you listen to me. There is, there is something shady going on right now, but I can't place my hand on it. I can't feel it. Because a stranger is lodged there. Come, collect. Don't tell me you're losing it. Oh, Black, I am losing it. I'm losing it. This is not how it's supposed to be. In all honesty, I'm scared. You were scared? <laughs> Interesting. So I like can leave you now. Um, you know what? I'll find a way and leave here without having a heart attack. Please. Why, Colette? Why did you lie to me? I can explain. Explain what? You, you not only know the devil of the mafia, you also communicate with him under this roof! I can explain. I can explain. When you went to the restroom at the restaurant, did you place a call to anyone? So, all this while you pretended to be working for the real company, but you have actually been planning of ways to divert resources from the company to your boyfriend, Sam Black. That idiot, the bigot, the maggot. Your Majesty, would you be asking her how much she diverted already? Because I am very certain she has diverted a whole lot. Yes. Have you? Now don't waste my time, young woman. I don't have all day. How much funds have you diverted from the company to that idiot? I... <clears throat> I, I do not have the figure of heart. Oh, she doesn't have the figures. But... He got the money from the last deal I closed with. Sharp Cement Industry and... Prestora Electronic Industry. What? Dad, those deals were worth 250 million naira. Oh, our money. Hey, you are in there. Hey. Why me? Why, 
Why do I always meet the wrong women? To think this one is the devil herself. <sighs> okay. So now that you have come out clean with who you are exactly, devil's incarnate, can you now explain to us what you know about the beautiful relationship my son had with that young woman? Say the truth. Come on, speak. Come on, speak. For you are under the mercy of the king of the gold kingdom. Let it be that you have done at least one good thing in this your miserable life. Go on, speak. What are, what are you talking about, Dad? Um, <clears throat> she was standing in the way of the mafia. So we devised a means to take her out. Ah. Ah, I can't believe this. She was behind that. She didn't do it. She was invited for, for a business, so she had to lodge there. You were equally invited to the same hotel to come see Chief Ikweme. All these were set up by the Mafia. At the scheduled time, one of us went to her room to bring her out. This was synchronized to be the same minute you were headed to Chief Suite. You forgot about the business upon seeing her coming out with another man. I am sorry I ended your relationship with Ifunaya. She truly loves you. And she's innocent. I'm sorry. Officer, you were. You, you have heard it yourself. I do not want to interfere with the process of the law. So let the law take its course. You were. You were. I. I, 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 I I have, I have one more truth to reveal. Ichie Otaokolisi here has something to explain to the police. How he sent Iwe Dinobi and his men to make the demand he made from the royal company. He also has to explain to the police how he murdered Iwe Dinobi when he threatened to expose him. You are talking Arab nonsense. You. Your boyfriend it was that killed him. Hmm. And that was because you instructed him to do so. Believing that will solve your problem. And it solved nothing. For your evil hands, your immoral hands are dripping in blood. Hmm. Listen to me, that you lousy mafia. Attempt one more time to rob me into your own crime. And you will discover yourself bleeding to death. Don't say a word. I am in Shiota or policy. Don't provoke me, please. Your Majesty. Officer, take this video out of this place. Move. Your Majesty, I am saying the truth. I am saying the truth. Your Majesty, I am saying the truth. How can you jack at this video throw me to a own crime? Kingsley, you have to immediately go to Princess Olaido and apologize to her. For she has been vindicated. You have to do it today. And I mean every word of it. And Samuel, you know exactly who to call. End this nonsense now and end it legally. Yes, sir. So much for a demon among saints. Anguego Jolonjo, Makanonya Tinyaka, Onye Tinyaka, Ebeluyaka. If you did not give him a clue, how come he has disappeared? I swear on my life, I did not give him any clue. You swear on your life as if you still have anyone. I am a criminal because I was found out. Millions of people out there are criminals as well, including some people in uniforms. Remember, whatever you say shall be used against you in the court of law. At least a quarter of people in the world are criminals. It's my turn today to be exposed. 
but that does not make me the only and last criminal on earth. Yes, of course. Officer, take her away. Do not touch me. Do not touch take me. Take her away. Don't touch me. Enough. Enough of the... Take it off. Do you realize you're standing before the throne of the king? There are certain things you just cannot do. I know. It is true. Honestly, I don't know how she pulled it, but I fell for it completely. You slept with Cornet. How? When? Why? This is crazy. Kesley, I am sorry. What else has happened in this palace? Kesley, I am sorry. I know I won't be able to live with this guilt. And that is why I am telling you, if there is anything you want me to do for you to understand how sorry I am, honestly, I'll do it. You owe that apology to your wife. But the woman you slept with is no longer with me. And will never be. Does that mean you've, you've forgiven me? I fell for her too. But Kingsley, that was just once. Please, forgive me. I'm, I'm deeply sorry. Please. Is there still anyone who is sane and morally upright in this palace? You both shagged the woman I called my wife in this same castle that we lived together as brothers? This is crazy! Uh, uh, please, my knees are on the ground. Yes, yes. See, I, I know I did that once, but ever since then, I've been so disgusted with myself. See, she, she practically seduced me. You should go shoot yourselves, dudes. I will never do that to an enemy, let alone my own blood. Kisley, Kisley, listen. Brothers sin against brothers, yet they remain brothers. I beg you, if there's anything you want us to do so that you can be happy, we will gladly do it. Please. Get off, get off, get off. Thank you. I blame her. She's evil. I'm sure she used the same charm she probably used on me. To seduce you both. I forgive you. But I'll warn you. I'm getting a handgun. And if I see any of you this close to the next woman I'll be with, I'll kill you. My wife traveled for a month with the king, and I had needs. What reasons do you have? You're right. This is a closed case. I'm glad you answered my call. Who am I to turn you down, my king? It is my pleasure to appear before you. Thank you. Thank you. Sit down. I am certain your mind is telling you something. And it is possible that you have heard all that happened to us. You have a right to be mad at us. But I called you here personally to apologize over the ugly role I played in the process that led to the termination of your wonderful relationship with my son. At that time that it mattered most, I failed to be a father and listen to my child. I judged you in a hurry and the negative effect of that judgment is hurting my son and I. So I ask you, to please find a place in your heart 
to forgive us. Please, my king, forget about what happened. I have forgiven everyone and I have moved on with my life. I don't know if I still deserve you. Thank you. Sorrows can last all through the night. But if you remain focused, joy shall come in the morning. Sorrows can last all through the night. But if you remain focused, joy shall come in the morning. If a dika coleta biana lum, if a yini coleta biana munso, coleta nata lo, onata giona fugiono. If a dika coleta biana lum, if a yini coleta biana munso, coleta nata lo, onata giona fugiono. There are snakes everywhere, different varieties of snakes. There is a demon among the saints, a green snake on the green grass. Oh, a green snake on the green grass. A demon among the sand. If a dika coleta biana lum, if a yini coleta biana munso, coleta nata lo, onata giona fugiono. If a dika coleta biana lum, if a yini coleta biana munso.